in the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me, he worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit, he did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Hi everybody, welcome to the Satellite of Love. You've caught us in the middle of one of Joel's uh, life simulation exercises. Joel's pretending to be a dairy farmer from southern Wisconsin. Help us! Whoa, whoa, what happened to you? Well anyway, hi there folks. You know, I'd been having trouble with velvet leaf, uh, cutworm, and uh, foxtail, and well, that's when the representative from Monsanto came out to my farm. He recommended a pre-emergent Inferal mixture of Lors band with atrazine in a tank mix, and I told him to get off my land. Here, chicken, chicken. Have your chores done by commercial schedule, which is in 15 seconds. Yes, sir. Oh, yep. Real life simulation? Call this Come what on. you may. The fact is, Joel's dressing up robots as farm animals. Come on, it's milking time. Commercial Come on. Sign. Four, Come three, on. two. Come on. Well, sign yep, on. just as I thought. These hens just aren't producing. I'm going to have to spray you all with insecticide. <laughs> See? Yeah. Yeah, it really works. You can cut off a chicken's head and it'll still run all over the place. Another fun thing to do on the farm is cow tipping. Gee, there's a lot of time to kill on a farm, isn't there? Yeah. yeah would you mind reuniting my head with my body, please, Joel Bob? Who said that? Old Joel Robinson had a farm? E-I-E, -E, I don't think so. Well, never before has the term booby been more appropriate. Why don't you tell him about the invention exchange, Frank? Well, when you're an on-the-go kind of a guy like myself, sometimes you need ear drops, sometimes you need eye drops, sometimes you need nose drops, sometimes you need throat drops. Sometimes when you touch, the honesty is too much. I want oh, to hold it till I cry. Oh, shut up, Frank. Die. Look, carrying all those medications around, granted, is an inconvenience. That's why I say, combine them. That's why we invented the Orbital Auto Rhino Laryngological Dropper. Very conveniently combines all the ear, nose, and throat medications you need into a convenient package. What do you think, farm boy? Well, this is perfect because after your invention makes people feel better, they can enjoy their good health by going to the park and enjoying this new invention. It's called the musical chair. Cool. I get you it. get it? Okay. Yeah. Ah. Snappy. Yeah, what better way to sit in with your favorite musicians? Is <laughs> sit in with the, because it's a chair. And, uh, what do you think, to... sirs? Uh, I thought it had no texture. Say, what's the ladder for? Well, Frank, we've got a very special guest today to tell Joel and the bots about today's experiment. It's someone we all know and love. I think you're going to be excited. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jack Perkins. Jack Perkins, wow! Hello. Today's experiment is called Fugitive Alien, a wonderful film from Japan, not to be confused with The Fugitive, the classic television series which can be seen weekdays right here on A&E. This is actually a strung together series of Japanese shows which when put together in this way make for what I think is some of the best TV has to offer. 
Thanks, Jack. Now then we... Joyce Carol Oates will be out to read from her wondrous new work of fiction, her first novel in well over a month. Then Peter, Paul, and Mary will be out to give us a wondrous rendition from one of their songs off their scintillating new album. Then Hume Cronin and Jessica Tandy will be out to tell us some poignant stories of the joys and sorrows of being really, really horribly old. And then Topol will be out. Oh, we got movie side! Who's Jack Perkins? <laughs> Okay, that's good, you guys. That's hey, it's the name of the rose. No, hey. it's a smiling face gone horribly wrong. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Sandy Frank presents her own personal hell. Indeed. Who is that guy? Koyanis Gotsi. Cool, this is just like episode 38 of Star Trek, the first season, but it doesn't have that no, same no, kind no, of No, 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 it's like spin. the star rated that the Daleks had in the in the fifth generation of the Doctor and the Doctor Who, and they had the three Doctors together, and they had the one that no, looked like Moe. Like Klingon. Okay. No, it's... Starring David Jensen of Mars, searching for the one-armed alien. Ooh. Oh, traffic on the outbound orbital plane is heavy to Lagrange, too. Folks want might try taking an altar on Lagrange this morning. Hey, quit passing on the right. That's not fair. Mm. Mm. Take a yama and shove it. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Cool, so. Ah! Ah! Don't do that. Originally produced for the stage by the Royal Shakespeare Company. Mm. Watch out for that. Oh, just park it anywhere, boys. Oh, oh, just... <laughs> oh. The Raiders. Run for your lives. oh no! Raid! Oh. oh, this is super cool. Like that first episode of Battlestar Galactica when no, they had no, to leave no, the planet and James like Seymour got shot in the back. It's like Invasion Earth uh. and maybe like Solar Babies when the, the, the spaceships come in and... Uh-uh. Uh -huh. Madam Raiders. Butterfly? Attack! Uh, we've started already, sir. Banana peel! Ooh. Come on to the shelter! Run! Run! Oh, I'll catch up! Destroy the Earth and its inhabitants. It's Heck Razor! Ooh. Hey, it's a Rolling Stones hotel room. Oh, I kind of think it looks like Morton Thigh in the early days. <laughs> Why do they need so many writers? Oh, they needed one guy for the verbs, one guy for the nouns, somebody for the adjectives, you know, adverbs, gerunds. Whoa! Ooh! Oh, it looks like the floor of the Tokyo Stock Exchange on Black Monday, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, they've broken into Carol Channing's house. Jim Carter! In color. <laughs> wiggly poo, do the wiggly poo. Uh, I've been killed by an action figure. Whoa, run, more credits, run! <laughs> hey, no cutting in line. Jimkara. Jimkara. You're not half You're bad. All right, Ken. Honestly, I've never seen anyone so strong. Certainly not a redhead. <laughs> I'm twice as strong back home. Not in Valna Star. Say, hey, you don't shower. Did you hear that, Ken? <laughs> I'll check it out. Oh, how humiliating. Earth taken over by Judy Garland impersonator. <laughs> Ooh, spring break pool jumping, dude. Ooh, Kick, man. You're not going to make it. the pool. Bless you. Uh, or not. Oh, it's an intriguing mix of genocide and modern dance. Ooh. Hey, you're starting to sound like Jack Perkins, Joe. Hey. <laughs> There's one. When Josie and the Pussycats go bad. Huh? All right. Oh, there you go. Uh, 
get. Gang, well, you have split ends. <laughs> Ken, little boys with guns grow up to be big enemies. Ooh. Better kill him while he's still young. Well. Hey, do you want to play? Ken! Huh? Hey, is everybody named Ken? What yeah. kids? Ken. Planet of the Kens? Ken. Or what? Planet where Ken's Oh, what a Ken. perfect apocalyptic Daddy, jumpsuit she's wearing. You? Huh? Hmm. Pink hearts, blue moons, green Japanese boys. <laughs> What's this Don Kirshner's rock concert all of a sudden? These obsession ads are weird. Between Ken and Ken lies obsession. Shoot Ken! Kill them both! Which Ken? The closer Ken gets, the better Ken looks. Ken! What are you waiting for? Uh oh, buck fever. Yep. Mm. Only Ken's Ken dresser knows for sure. Ken 2, help Ken 1! They have such a glow about mm -hmm. them. His mama is a saint. If I have one life to live, let me live it as a Ken. Don't shoot! You're a disgrace to all Kens. Was that you? Ken? Huh? Ken? Why? I love you, Ken. You betrayed us. Traitor. Ah, uh, the name's Ken. Call me Ken. You won't get away with it, Ken. Run, Ken, run. Ken, kill Ken. Get him. He killed one of his own men. I didn't mean to. It was an accident. Ken 33, go left. Ken 16 and 18, flank him. Ken 7, go around the back. Ken 4, I mean, 10 no, 4. No, no. <laughs> there he goes. There. He's a traitor. Don't let him get away. Just like that episode where it was like the, the Nazi world on Star Trek. No, and they, no, no. They it's like Doctor Who and Tom Baker was the doctor. I think he was the fifth doctor, and he was trying to save Neela from the Clyde Masters. That's no, because nice. I saw it at a, a no, man No, no, no. I saw, I saw it in the, in the Who Festival there, 12 hours. He hurt his little pants. Ooh. After him. He's been hit. In the pants. Little pants. You have betrayed us. You will never set eyes on Founder Star again. Oh, I flipped and I didn't even have to. I just love to do it, just for fun. What? Huh? Smells like my wig in here. I'll get home somehow. Do you want to go faster? You will not reach home. All traitors die. Don't smoke. <laughs> well, you gotta get that steering column fixed. I'll get there if it's the last thing I do. Probably will be. <laughs> Boo boo, it's the Rangers. So they think they can blow me out of the sky. Yep. This lever is stuck. Yeah, so is the lever. <laughs> the lever. Something's wrong. I can't get it under control. I'm a crappy special effect. Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. I want to die in the thong section of Victoria's Secret. Ooh, cool. Pull up! Pull up! Oh boy. No, he's in more trouble than Hudson Hawk at the box office. <laughs> huh? That's an alien sound. Say. An enemy signal. Or a garbage truck backing up. Yeah, could be. They think they can kill me so easily. Well, they're in for a little surprise. I'm a ranger, too. I'm a star boy. Of course you are, Ken. Just keep saying that to yourself. Star Monks in space! It's my only chance. I'm going to have to bail out. 
Wait a minute. Oh, is that Ken? It's not Ken, it's Ken. Oh, you You're mean Ken? You're him with Ken. Oh, I was thinking of Ken. No, Ken. Oh, Ken. Oh, I thought it was Ken all along. Mm. Uh, let's see. AAA roadmap, flashlight, Mars bar. No, I'm set. I know some people will do anything to get to Mass on Holy Thursday, I gotta tell you. <laughs> hey, he shouldn't have had those baked beans. <laughs> it's too easy. Is that him or the... I told you to watch the speed bumps. What do you suppose that was? It sounded like Ken. Ken. What's happening here? Hmm? Easy, Tammy. Uh-huh. That was no meteor, right? That was my wife. <laughs> <laughs> the big room. Turn on the radiation deflector. That yes, trick sir. never deflector. works. Operating, sir. That explosion sent out powerful magnetic fields. And so do I. spacecraft if we're not careful. So stay on the alert. Yes, yes sir. sir. Left all the Kens everywhere. This is a Sneed, magnified a hundred times. <laughs> do you smell aliens? Looks like we're out of danger now. Uh-huh. Captain! What's that out there? It's a Zenith Chromacolor, and it can be all yours if you pick that what's behind like door number one. Space. You're right. It's a man with little pants. It's Frank Poole. You must have bailed out of that ship before it exploded. Looks like you're still breathing. Good eye. Rocky? Mm. Yes, sir? We're going to rescue him. I don't think that's a very good idea. Why don't we just leave well enough alone? Don't say that. He isn't even wearing a spacesuit. Oh. No way he could have survived out there. He could have. Dan, what is our mission if not to save lives? You know, she's right. Oh. OK. Let's go for it, Rocky. Rocky. Yes, sir. Whoa. Take your foot off the clutch. <laughs> That's not the wolf attacker. Who could it be? Hmm. Oh, I remember this. This is just like in Maroon when David Jansen goes to save Gene Hackman and James Franciscus in the derelict spaceship before the so the, the, the Soviet... Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, the it's Soviet satellite ship. comes up and... Uh, it is. I've had it. Space mimes in color. Da, da, da. Got monkey bars. <laughs> Dr. Livingston, I presume. <laughs> Give me a hug, you big galoot. He's alive, all right. I got dibs. I don't get it. Uh, Nobody could have survived that explosion. Hey, right. Any normal human being would have been blown to bits. <gasps> Ooh. He's coming to terms with himself. <laughs> Oh, my God, I've been captured by Wayne Newton. Dog shame. Hello, friend. Ow. Welcome to the Earth's oldest spaceship, Bacchus 3. Model A. My name is Joe. Hello, Joe. This what do you crew. know? Just got back from Kokomo. How did you ever survive <laughs> that crash? Watch it, Ken. This might be a trap. Hmm? You sure took your chances out there without a spacesuit. Or did your spacesuit explode as well? <laughs> a good one, sir. <laughs> I just don't get it. Can a guy get a cup of coffee around here? I'll answer that, sir. This is Bacchus 3, over. This is Space Control. Hmm? The Wolf Raiders from Balna Star have been attacking the Earth. They seem to be developing huh? on the huh? road to come back. Huh? Wolf Raider huh? route MMS oh. 600, beyond the alert. Oh, oh. oh. That's a strong hey. reaction. Seems a little defensive to me, doesn't it? Cut it out, you guys! Cut it out! Monkey shines. Can't afford to lose control. Yeah, well, what do you call that, then? <laughs> oh, you can see the zipper. Yeah. I thought so. My best flatware. Oh, i got a couple of questions. You like Peter Allen? Who are you? And what's yeah. the capital of South Dakota? And why did you react that way when you heard the word wolf, huh? Hmm? And where did you get all your strength? You'd better tell us the truth, fella. Come on. Come on! I'm an astronomer. I was doing scientific work. Huh? You're hurting me. Let go. Oh, oh. I heard about the Wolf Raiders on my radio. Mm -hmm. That's why I reacted. I, and I, telling us the I truth, also sir. believe in fairies. I don't mm. want to get killed. Captain, UFOs on our radar screen. I'm what? busy, can't you see? Check it. Yes, sir. Let's go. Right. Uh. <sighs> nice cufflinks. Sierra Cardone. Hmm. Say. 
Now I'm gonna spank Listen you to me. big time. I don't want you to move from this spot. Unless, of course, you feel like leaving this ship and floating in space. You can get up now. Well, ah, this is geez. comfortable, but jeepers. Hmm? Hey, look, that truck's headed for Utah. You keep your eyes on the screen. Yes, sir. All instruments operational? Yes, sir. And how? We're approaching route MMS 600, sir. And my heart is racing. <laughs> look how fast they're going. Who can generate that kind of velocity? Wolf Raiders. I can. For sure. <laughs> you sir, them. I don't think we're any match for them. Got my nose. Look at that. <laughs> Change course. You can't take them on in this beat up old crate. Change course. Someone put a gag in his mouth. I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, 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 I'll do it. Let me, please. He's talking sense for once. They have greater firing power. The ship is much too old to take on superior forces like wolf raiders. It's too late to turn around now. I think they've spotted our position. They're Batman. Are they listening to ELO? Yeah, it's a fleet of drapery hooks. Huh? Are you a good witch or a bad witch? This is it. Let's go. Hey, I got an idea. Let's get that box of hats out of the back. Girl. Oh, I know where that is. I get it. Yeah. Pops. What are you two yard monkeys doing now? Uh, well, uh, seeing the uh, stupid Wolf Raider hair helmets in the experiment reminded me of all this stuff from the last hat party we had. Hey, put that one on. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't want I'd feel silly. Uh, I remember that one. That one was the grandest of all. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought we could take some of these and have fun with them and maybe make up even more stupider hats, you know, for the next party. Oh, say, put that one on me. I got okay. an idea here. Okay. Now, you see, this is a helmet for astronauts who are losing their hair. You see, with the balding <laughs> coming over here. Yeah. Okay, all right, I'm into it now. Look at this one. Okay, this ah. goes back to 1981. I'm a punk from space. Get it? Ooh. I am a anarchist. Get it? Oh, that's cool. Hey, this big one over here. Put this one on okay. me, Joel. Okay. No, I got, I got it, I got it. This is what Patty LaBelle would look like on the space shuttle. Wow! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Oh, uh, try wow. the other one there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, way down oh, there. Huh? Oh, oh, watch the hand. Sorry, yeah. Oh, oh wow. Look at it. It's the Ted Koppel satellite of hair. Or, 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 or you can you can pull down that curl in front and it would look just like Frank's hair helmet. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, I think those things are wonderful. Oh. <laughs> Push the button, Frank. <laughs> ah, burn. Dr. F, you better come have a look at this. Joel and the bots are making fun of my hair. My hair! Now, Frank, let them have their little fun. The experiment's not quite over, and they'll soon live to regret it. <laughs> no, oh, rich. Oh, wait, hey, guys, look at this one, hey. Huh? Ah, no. Oh, uh, this one looks like Dr. Forrester if his head got sucked into the vacuum of space through a keyhole. No. <laughs> now, you cut that out. Remember what I said about hat parties. You get your little hinders back into that theater, and, and you watch the film. I'm not amused by your antics in the least. I thought it was a sheer delight. I think that's about as grand as a hat party can get. <laughs> ah, that was about as painful as a cattle prod to the shoulder could get. Ah. Send them commercial, Frank. I'll send them commercial sign. But later on in the program, Linda Ellerby will be out there. Ah. I hate to say it, but Jack Perkins had that coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Boy, poor guy. That party never ended like that before. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Well, I wish someone would turn off the courageous cat music. Chili peppers burn my gut. Chin rascal. More like yeah. face rascal. Yeah. Space speed. Edvard Munch, I presume. <laughs> Look at that. 
give him a face massage. Well, we can't fight him, but we can confuse the heck out of him. <laughs> Fries are up. Yep. Whoa, whoa, that was us. Jeepers. Somebody hang up the phone. Huh. Well, watch out for that. Uh. Well, never mind. Up. Cease fire. Backers three. You haven't seen the last of me. Jim Backers? <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, cookies are done, sir. Cool, huh? Yeah. Great music. Looks like we made it. Left each other all the way to another. That's been knocking out my officer. Look alive, you guys. There's work to do. Alive, sir. I'm sorry, honey. Are you okay? Rocky, are you okay? Uh, yo, Say something. Adrian. Uh, cut me, cut me. Got... We did it. We got away from them. I did? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy? All I know is he's ten times as strong as we are. And I love him. And he got us through the Wolf Raiders. Single he's a snappy dresser and a good friend. Hey, Bookmobile, summer reading program. Third planet from the sun will be known as Earth. Pretty Wonder. much. Oh no, we'll have to circle LaGuardia for an hour, I'm betting. <laughs> yeah, I can see the Great Wall. It's okay. They're going to the Dells. Uh, Jimmy left his Legos in the driveway again. Mm. <laughs> That kid. Well, I tell you, that ship is burping out a lot of chlorofluorocarbons there, yeah. punching a hole in the ozone. <coughs> the bank will be closing in five minutes. Here is the latest report on the attack of the Valna Raiders. Due to heavy damage, aerospace port number six has been closed to all traffic until further notice. Okay. That's off port. Hmm? What do we do? I just talked to headquarters. They said all streets leading to the base have been destroyed. <laughs> Check that out. Check yes, her sir. out. Hey. Attention, please. Take charge of the yes, prisoner. Flights are kindly requested to proceed immediately to Space Command the headquarters for debriefing. That's we repeat, yeah, well, senior yeah. officers of all incoming flights proceed at yeah. once to Space Command headquarters. Watch the steno pool go wild for his vinyl. <laughs> Excuse me, how can sir? I contact Spaceport 6? Right up there, sir. Thank you. I just want to check out my uh, car loan here. Get out of my way. All function. Huh? Noah's Ark? Not the no. Hey, and there's Moses' Jeep. <laughs> Did he tell you how he got that wound? I gave it to him. He refused to answer any of our questions. He started shouting and acting crazy. So I gave him a tranquilizer to quiet him. Is he likely to get violent? He's mm, highly unpredictable. Much. Please maintain him here under heavy guard. Thanks for the warning. Bye. Bye now. Come on. Everybody's doing their banking in this movie. Must Looks be. like Ken's driving the Malibu Barbie Beach Jeep. Cool. I just have to get out some money for the weekend. Oh, dang, they're closed. Boy, I would love to be a banker. So, uh, dinner Thursday? Great. Good. Excuse me. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Hi, say, dinner Friday? Great. Okay. Don't put, yeah. Oh, uh, hi, uh, dinner uh, Sunday? Can we do it? Oh, you're free. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Elvis. Thank you, thank you very much. Huh? The audience has left the arena. <laughs> what the? Oh? Oh? Ooh, baby doll? Ooh. Ballet slippers? <laughs> huh? The geometric nucleus? And a chew toy. 
Well, I'll just uh, rifle the dead stuff here. <laughs> so, dinner Sunday. Oh. oh. What a gaff. Marianne, Ginger, Skipper, Bobby, Professor. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, the, uh, oh. Hmm? Whopper. Did he say Whopper? Sounded like Whopper. Is that a Whopper? Oh, darling. Darling. Where's Marianne? Uh, d uh, dead. Uh, d uh, dusting downstairs. Where is she? <laughs> Marianne's resting in peace. Pieces. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried something had happened to her in that terrible attack. Yeah, whatever. I couldn't find her anywhere. Mm -hmm. And I passed out mm -hmm. and woke up here. What'd you say? Boy, what a view. You got a great oh, room here. We're all together again. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Hmm? Well, that does take the pressure off. Yeah. Hey, Ken's got a problem. Ken wasn't careful. Ken's going to get candy. Hmm? Oh, no, you don't, sir. You Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> Physician, heal thyself. I know just what to do. I'll sneak out of here disguised as Chad Everett. That always works. Hey, hey, McGarrett's up here. Ooh, tough skins huh? in Husky, slim and regular. Ken's out cross training. Just do it. <laughs> Ken was safe for the moment, but where could he go? What, what could, could he do? do? An outcast on his own planet. A fugitive alien yep. on Earth. Yep. He would have to That's make a title, fresh start it? somewhere. In the robot holocaust. But where? And how could he get there? And what of Bob's love for Chad? Oh, uh, sorry, that was me. Excuse me. A spacecraft. Duh. I'll have to hijack one. Oh, <laughs> better. Great Not in those slacks. Cue myself, jump back, and hop. Jumping, running, and spinning. Follow me. Oh, I'm only me. Careful. Yeah, this is good for the glutes. I wish, I wish you got water. The burn, the burn. He's at a ski lodge now. What it gives? Excuse me. Uh, can you tell me where I can hijack a spaceship? Anybody? No? Okay, never mind. Anybody? Uh, spaceship? Need to hijack a spaceship? Yeah. Hey! Nobody around. But how do I get aboard? Go through the lumber yard! That's how you get aboard? <laughs> get us in the lumber. Hmm? Huh? Hello, stranger. Hi, sailor. Did you just drop by for coffee, or were you planning to stay on for the cocktail hour? <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'll have that cocktail now. Well, friend, you're not a very gracious guest. I brought it isn't crackers. isn't very courteous to point a gun it's at It's not your courteous host. to point your finger, you shouldn't have run away from that nice, clean infirmary. Hey, How James about infirmary. giving me the gun? That's enough. Hmm? Turn around and face the wall. Whoa. Go on! <laughs> Don't you think it'd be a good idea to check if it's loaded? What? Who? Hmm? Hmm? No. Oh. Oh. Room key 35! What a works every time. What a the stupidest thing I ever did was to save the life of a Val Narrator. You people have no respect for life. You would even kill your own families if it brought you some advantage. The world will never be safe with people like you around. Let's kiss. Look! You'd even destroy the universe. Barbarian. The minute I saw you, I knew you were one of those savage bound the wolves. But I you love died. you. You know something? That was my last flight. I wanted to devote the rest of my life to my wife and kid. My wife just died in my arms. I thought it was hey, a you were way over by the window. Yeah. Honestly, where's the pride in killing defenseless women and children? You call that heroism? I call it fun. Don't you have any hobbies? When we saved you, 
A little swatch of cloth got torn off your uniform. Ooh. I found one exactly like it. Next to the body of my little daughter. Uh -oh. Uh oh. What have you got to say? Um, oops. Oh, I'm sorry? I'm listening. <laughs> no one can beat me at snap zooms. I was, I was in time of the apes. There's no point trying to hide it. I was on a mission. But I killed one of my comrades in an accident. I ran away. Now the other wolves are hunting the traitor. You're lying through your teeth. Don't you expect me to buy that? It's the truth. Yeah. I swear it. Now listen to the rest of the story. Page two. We attacked Earth. Roach my buddy food. ordered me to kill a child. They never explained the blonde wigs. I don't get that. I, I couldn't. And it was then that he turned his rifle on the child. Then <laughs> I saw him raise his gun to fire. <laughs> I just wanted to get him to put the rifle down. <laughs> Suddenly, I looked down and saw that glassy look in his eyes. That sly come hither stare. I'd forgotten how strong I was. Kenya did the right thing. Now, turn off the World chance. Matt. You know I never keep any bullets in my gun. Hmm? Oh, like Barney Fife. Or killing anyone is too horrible. I didn't feel that way when I was about your age. I was like you, wild and reckless. Well, that's me to a T. Up till today, you killed for kicks. Hey, like the wild rebels. Dude. You were just like I used to be. A thrill killer. I wasn't. I was a soldier carrying out orders. There's no dishonor in that. What is dishonor, then? Killing for a corrupt power? Punky cheese. conscience. You betrayed us. You, you traitor. See, that's why you're a scummy traitor. Cigar? Why, yes it is. <laughs> well, thank you. I've been thinking things yeah. over. No point in retiring. Now, with no wife or family to go home to. You'll do fine. No. I'm going to need some new men in the crew. Slim-hipped and willowy. Pink lips. Young fellow who's become a fugitive, who's being hunted all over the universe. Who could that be? Could do a lot worse than throwing in his lot with the crew of Bacchus Three. Hmm. We might even get to be friends. He asked me, he asked me. I don't understand. What have I done to deserve this? We don't deserve half the things we get. <laughs> You're stuck here. Listen. Mood swings, boy. You're exactly what I tell you. And you have a good chance of turning into a man, not just a wolf raider. And don't you ever forget. I know exactly who you are and where you came from. One false move, and I'll set you adrift to fend for yourself. Captain! Now, let's have some fun. Now then, Captain! whether you like it or not, she's yours. Looks have like fun. you just signed on. Welcome to Herbalife. Captain Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of think I'll like it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Idiot. Let's Captain. go skiing, gang. Everything's fine. In the land of Dairy Queen, we treat you right. While Ken was being welcomed aboard Bacchus III and starting his life as an Earthling, back on Valna Star, Ken's former home, the Wolf Raiders were returning from their unsuccessful Back mission story. to conquer Earth. Oh. Their leader, the notorious yeah. Lord Halcon, was determined to punish Ken mercilessly for his supposed betrayal. Meanwhile, I went to more voiceover auditions. Hey, speak okay. of punishing mercilessly. Whoa. I'm wearing a bib because I just ate. Tragedy tomorrow, Peter. Kabuki tonight. I take it you have already heard that your brother has lost his life. Yes. He was killed by Ken. Ken did it. Those bastards. Why, that can't be true. I know it must seem impossible. You loved each other, I'm and sure. he was your brother's friend. I trusted him too. How sad it is to put your trust in a traitor. Hmm. And that's not the worst part. He killed your brother in an attempt to defend an Earthling. Oops. No, I'll never get my records back. Then he escaped into the unknown in a stolen spaceship. That'll happen. He's a coward and a traitor. He has disgraced us all. I forbid you to see he has him. He forfeited the right to live. Must he die? Yes, and you must be his executioner. 
It is an old Balna law that murders must be avenged by the victims next of kin. Um, not that I don't trust you, a wise one, but can I see the book on that rule? It's a... Rat Patrol in color. Man, it looks like they were shooting this out of the windshield of a Vista Cruiser station wagon. Yeah, That's kind of yeah. Yeah. Tempted in love. Rita, Ken must die by your hand. You are not to return here without his head. Without his head. Oh, I gotta lay off the shrooms. Lay off the shrooms. Ken. Did someone say Ken? Ken, you will pay dearly for what you did. I know, Mama. Boy, oh. Oh. Hmm? oh, that was easy. I can go home. Oh, damn, I was supposed to bring back his head. Ken! Where aren't you? Is she going to meet a ride out there or something? I don't know. She's supposed to walk to the river. I know you've heard of the star Carrero. It's in the center of the seven constellations. Inhabited by a strong and independent nation. The Cherokee Nation. Hmm. We have been allied with Carrero for centuries, and now they are threatened. Their mortal enemies have developed a super weapon. Super weapon? Well, a uh, really good one anyway. We have all the details. But we have an intelligence report. Apparently, this weapon can destroy a whole continent. If we do nothing to prevent it, then I'm afraid Carrero is doomed to extinction. Mm. And that is the reason that they got in touch with us. Now we're alone. After giving it careful consideration, I've decided that you are the only man capable of doing the job. So we're going to get you a new dicky. But they've always handled their own defenses. This time, they've got more than one enemy. The pool table. It looks like the Valna Raiders are going to attack. Valna Star is one of the strongest forces of evil in our universe. See what I tell you. It's cool anyway. Oh, I'm sorry, I was just playing a video game in my head. I understand. There's no way that they can handle this alone. Yes, the Kararans are a valiant people. But they are no match for the Valna Raiders. <laughs> what, what? You were talking to me? Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking of the eighth hole at Torrey Pines. <laughs> sorry about that. Let's cut the crap. I love Very you. Well. I accept the mission. Okay. Good. Excellent. I knew you wouldn't disappoint us. Yuck. I yeah, always look forward time. to the crew check, especially with such a fine crew as the one on the back is three. I love it. That's Rocky. The Flying Squirrel. The best space pilot in the business. And a good friend. You remember Dan, my navigator? Indeed I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this little mm. darling is your morale officer, no doubt. <laughs> oh, Negative, sir. Lieutenant <laughs> Tommy knows more about the than the here. two of us put together. You don't say. Doesn't sound half bad. No. Young Billy, he's going to make a fine officer someday. It's a good crew, Joe. Not quite. No, I've got some shots of the picnic hmm? here now. Who's the bus boy? Face. He looks like he could handle himself in a fight. Mm -hmm. Always rough and ready, all right. But that's just what I need on this mission. <laughs> Real bruiser. After mm -hmm. all, the Valna like Raiders it. aren't what Send you him to my sweet room. and gentle either, sir. Listen, Joe. We're asking you to set out on a dangerous assignment. We can't afford any unknown Damn, quantities out there. Cool. Do you know anything about this man's background? I just want to recruit this guy. In the worst way. I wasn't planning to adopt him. Joe, I like you. A lot. You're weird. Okay. If you think he's all right, then he's all yours. Oh, oh I'm in China. I'm in China. No. Oh, no. It's just a... <laughs> Red ball jets help you run faster and jump higher. Cool. Oh, I thought I was in an ST commercial. Oh, I see a bunny and a cloud and a blonde wig and a satin tap pant. A matching camisole? Do it right. Oh, another royalty check for Herb Alpert coming up. Excellent calf muscles, Eric. Mm -hmm. I want your wig now. It's been 26 miles. It's only fun if I catch you. Wait up. <laughs> it's the tender song of love. Come on, it's my turn to wear the nightgown. We gotta go, folks. Let's run. Rita. Rita man. Try to understand. I did what I had to.
Okay, now Crow, I want yeah. you to be Ken, and okay. Tom, I want you to be Ken. Joel, I feel ridiculous. I'm dressed like Evil Knievel, only not so tasteful. Yeah, Joel, I, I don't want to cast aspersions on your little play acting idea. I, I don't want to be the dead squirrel under the floorboards of your hunting shack, but Ooh. this is the stupidest thing you've ever had to do yet. Come on, yeah, Joel, I... you've been nipping at the tester's glue or yeah. what here? Come on, Crying I just on. thought it would be fun to play the handsome captain of the spaceship, okay? It's a lark, a spree. Run with me on this one. I promise I'll never make you do it again. Oh. Yeah, right. Well, give it a week. I'll have a six-foot foam scorpion stinger hanging off my butt. Come on. Yeah, look, be... let's just get this over with, okay? Just come on, you guys. It'll be a guess. Okay, Cambot, help me out on this one. Okay. Neutral drive off. Engines to full. All right, Captain. Now, Cigar Ken? Yeah. You know, no sense in me returning back home. Uh -huh. What with my wife and child gone. Oh, that's right. They took a laser bolt, didn't they? Too you bad. Know, Cigar Ken? You know, a young fellow, I could use a few of them on my ship. A young fellow could do a lot worse than throwing with a lot of back as three. We might even become friends. I don't understand. What did I do to deserve this? We don't deserve half the things we get. <laughs> He's stuck here! Gee, Joel, don't vapor lock on us. It's just a little skit for crying out loud. Well, so I uh, brought the engines to neutral. Yeah, you do exactly as I say, and maybe you'll find out what it means to be a real man rather than just a wolf raider. Yeah, right, and you've got a good chance to end up at the Francis Farmer Motel. Oh, jeez, oh, oh. Joe, get a hold of Nobody yourself! Nobody hits one of my officers! Oh. 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 I think you broke my jaw. Oh, sorry about that. Jeez, Ouch. out of control. Boy. How symbolic. Are you on surveillance duty? Sorry I scared you. You looked so angry I was afraid I was going to get strangled. Well, there's still time for that. <laughs> Who's Rita? Your wife or your girlfriend? Uh, yes. yes. Can I cut your tongue? Shut up! Sorry. I'm just a little <laughs> tired. You know, Ken, I'm beginning to think you're not an earthling. Hmm? You haven't got the slightest idea how to talk to a girl, honestly. I just wanted to say hello. You didn't have to bite my head off. Is that what I do? I don't feel like talking. And I don't like people meddling in my affairs. Oh, you don't? Well, have it your way. At Burger King? Hmm. This crew had better start learning to get along. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a difficult mission. Our next mission will take us to Vaholi in the 32nd holy, holy. constellation. However, before reaching our final destination... We all get hats, we big call ones. on Carraro, which has asked Scrambled the space eggs. agency for our assistance. As you may have heard, Carraro and Vaholi are at war, and recently the Wolf Raiders have joined forces with Vaholi. In other words, this will be no picnic. More like a small dinner well, party. What do you say? Do we a accept? Buffet. Sir, I'd rather go and fight and sit down here bored out of my mind. Captain. I think this is one mission where you're not going to need whiskey for excitement. <laughs> <laughs> I'll need a stiff belt when I get back, though. Uh, you'll need a big belt. Mm. I've got well, balloons for arms! We're not going to take him along. Cool it, Danny. Hmm? But, Captain, who is he? I've made what my decision. What do we decision. know about it? Hmm? You can take it or leave it. Mm. Captain, I'm sorry. I'm sure you know what you're doing. <laughs> Captain, we accept your decision. Ken, welcome aboard. Are you sure you've got what it takes for the job? You bet we have. Don't press With your Captain luck. Captain Joe in charge, no mission is impossible. Well, time will tell. Monty Python's flying circus. Hey, the crew got free tanning sessions. Ooh. Bite, Bite down. Bite down, please. Bite down, please. Bite down, please. Oh, oh don't bite down here. Now uh, bite me, please. Okay. Hey. What? Oh, <laughs> it's the goofiest ship in the cosmos. What, a Ma and Pa kettle going on this mission or something? <laughs> hey, there's <Whoa>. Don Knotts. <laughs> I've had a rebuilt from stem to stern. Neat, huh? To withstand the extreme velocities out there. I don't want to have another encounter like I had with the Wolf Raiders. I thought I was going to explode like a balloon. Shouldn't have had those I buffalo sure wings. I never <laughs> have to go <laughs> anything like that again, Captain. 
What are the specs on this job, sir? Oh, those are bugs. They'll wash off. We've added a power unit that can take us up to speeds of uh, Mach 5, 6 and over. Yeah, pretty much. Any more speed would tear us apart. Yeah. You know... Security guard? I'm really looking forward to flying <laughs> this like old devil. So am I. Here. Joe. Hi, Harry. Hi, team gang. Are you really gonna Hi. take on that mission? Sure thing. You leave the milk runs to us. Well, you always were a daredevil. <laughs> By the way, is there any truth to that rumor? They say Rocky wants out of this mission. Again? If he feels like a change, I could sure use him. Hmm. Sounds like someone's overactive imagination. Rocky's accounted for. I wouldn't go anywhere without him. Right yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> you salty dog. Were they? Hmm? This is a strange development. Wheels everywhere. Using my superior strength to fight my own people. What is this, the Wonder Years? Sure, I'd love to liberate Balna Star from the Tyrant Hell. Let the air out of the tire crawl. Cool. Families up there. And Lisa, hey. does she know I killed her brother? <gasps> Maybe. Will I ever be able to explain to her what really happened? And what about Good Naomi? Will well, she well, love again? Hmm? Trains. Neat. Cool. Big ones. Screamers. That guy Rocky hates me. Can Captain Joe control him? Or not? Will Joe admit that Sue loves Mary? Hmm. Killdozer with Clint Walker, no! Oh, wow! Oh, no! Eat fork, buddy. He thinks I'm a pallet. Uh, well, fortunate for me, I ate some more spinach before I left the house, guy. <laughs> hey, come on, dim your brights, I can't see! Oh, you should know by now, pal. When you push a wolf raider, he pushes back. <laughs> This must be one of those Russian forklifts I've heard so much about lately. This is the song written for the train chase. This is the chase, Rocky and Ken. He tried to kill me with a forklift. Olé! Joe Mannix. Ba -da -da -da. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Rocky! Again! Well, that answers my question. What was the question? I thought you were a wolf raider. They planted you on our flight to sabotage our mission. Yeah, well, you're a wuss raider, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Are you high? I have the strength of 20 men. This is the song right after the train chase. This is the fight. Rocky and Ken. What's going on? Oh, nothing, sir. Uh, Captain! Pacing the freshman. <laughs> I told you, no grabass in Captain. the shower. I know who he is now. He's my mother. He's my sister. <laughs> He's my mother and my it's sister. <laughs> he tried to, to kill, kill me with, with a forklift. <laughs> Rocky, how often do I have to tell you you should stop reading those science fiction novels? They're comic Wait, books! Captain. Tell him. I know Ken's a lot stronger than we are. There's a reasonable scientific explanation for that. You spend a lot of time in another constellation. Hmm. That increases strength. Mm -hmm. hmm. You're a liar. I don't believe you just like him. No. No. Don't expect any gratitude from me. Okay. I won't. Ha. Now you listen to this. Pull my finger. What I expect from you is total obedience. If that's okay with you. You know, you'll only continue to live as long as I shut up. I got a threat from the captain. Shut up. Cool. Wow. Amazing. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. God, that's so great. It's only a model. All right, spit out the and sunflower so seeds. Our valiant space adventurers prepare to embark on a perilous and exciting mission. Don't roll the ship, lose the building with Jerry Lewis, Charlie Kelsey, and Steve Franken. <laughs> Meanwhile, on Valna Star, other plans are being made. Remember, Rita, it is our law. You may not return until the Ryan Jones? <laughs> Tell me, spirit, are these shadows of things which must be or which might be? 
Hey, look, 27 8 by 10 color glossy pictures with the circles and arrows and the paragraph on the back of each one. Why am I thinking of the cast party now? Oh, I like that one. Uh, Marianne. 53 bucks for the photos. Barbara. Whose hand is that? I can be Barbara. My baby. My wife. Whatever. I don't care anymore what happens to me out beyond the stars. Oh. If I don't survive. Then we can be together again that much sooner. Oh, well, would yes. somebody turn the fryer light off I miss me? You so. Rest peacefully until then. It won't be long now. What a sap. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, I got the wrong grave. I'm so sorry, Olga. No. Uh, that is. Oops. Oh, it's embarrassing. Uh, I gotta go paint a house now. I'm sorry. Oh. Well, I just about Hey, they're having all. a jumpsuit party, and Kate is the grandest of all. Thanks. You're a great crew. Ready to levitate well, the table? To the mission. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm? Rocky, aren't you going to drink with us? Gonna fly now? Sir, I want you... In the worst way. To ...order me to go on this mission. I sure will. Rocky, I order you to pilot Bacchus Three. Yes, sir. I guess you're stuck with me at the controls. <laughs> Let's go for it, then. You old space <laughs> <out>. <laughs> You pile of space crap. <laughs> this is yours. It has your initials on it. I made it in shop class just for you. It's the song of the space mugs. We'll drink to the brotherhood. Hello. Can you drink it? Yes. Captain, it's for you. Fisher Price phone, sir. Oh, hello. What I'm about my cheeks, you wild right. Departure. Wait, Ten. they're having cocktails. Nine. Eight. Seven. Musketeers, six, sign in. Carby. Five, four. Roy. Three, Jimmy. Two, Annette. One, Tad. Zero. <laughs> Looks like it's anything can happen Lift today, off. sir. Remember that the Musketeers and Mickey Mouse are registered trademarks of Disney Incorporated, Buena Vista Television, Touchstone Pictures, and the unlicensed distribution of any of these images that are not remotely as resembling any Walt Disney images. They're closely forbidden by Disney, uh, Buena Vista, Touchstone, and uh, Michael Eisner. Hey, watch out for the Whoa. tower! And Ooh. so the reconditioned oh. Bacchus Three blasted off for her next encounter with Destiny. This mission would be the most demanding the ship and her crew had ever been asked to endure. But first, this message. <laughs> Hardly presser, cabin presser, like an Arab they were. Captain Joe immediately tested the newly installed speed acceleration equipment. The Duck ship boy. was going to need all the speed he could get, and he had to know early on if the crew could take the pressure. I can't. My face goes all funny, sir. <laughs> That's quite a tick you got there, son. Let's loosen up with some butter gutter. Butter gutter, butter gutter, butter gutter, butter gutter. I can't stop. I don't know how it works. Goodbye, folks. Bye. Tibet International. The white zone is for loading and unloading only. <laughs> Engine off. Engine off. Engine off. Doesn't it feel great to be back on the ground again? <laughs> oh, a trouser Rocky, cam. Hi there. He sent someone to meet us. Ken, release the gangway. Um, call okay. me Ken. Okay, Ken. Nice gangway. Is that the gangway? How much does a gangway? Beedy, 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 beedy. Welcome back. Oh, no, it's the planet of Tweakies. Oh, boy. What a nightmare. What could be worse? Hmm? It's a planet of Gallagher's. That's it's melon crazy. That's no. worse. <laughs> Captain Joe. Moving kind of slow. He seems to know you. Captain Joe and one officer, follow me. Yes, sir. The rest wait here till you receive further orders. Okay. Doesn't sound too friendly. Can it, Rocky? Again, canning it, sir. I'm going to establish contact. Meanwhile, you wait here. Good idea. Let's keep it cool. We're going to be involved in very delicate negotiations. Uh, there's cold cuts in the fridge and some armor all in the glove box, and uh, keep out of the liquor cabinet. Bye. See you later. Get him, team gang! Get back! I'm taking in the gangway. I'm Looks taking like in my little pants. Has anybody here got a deck of cards? They're supposed to be our allies. I was never welcomed anywhere like this before. Hmm. Summer in the Black Mountain Hills, out in the middle of some alien planet. <laughs> it's a funny. The 
think I look stupid? Let's see my boss. Oh, this is nice. Comfortable. Nice ride. Oh, Oh, now they're big and they're in Mexico. Hmm? Come on. You guys wait here. I gotta go cash a check. Tap a kidney. Nice digs. Welcome to the Dance of Incontinence. Hmm? I mean, seven continents. Oh. <laughs> kind of a... Yeah, uh, bathroom. Stand up. Why are the garage doors all of a sudden? Hmm. Easy access? Say hello. hello. Hmm? Hmm. What is this strange feeling inside me? It's a voiceover called There's love. There's out there somewhere, and I want to be part of it. Yes, sir. That's my baby. Well, I think I'll do a little reconnaissance. See you, man, about the horse. stay here. You can't leave the ship. Ken! Ken, go after what Ken. Hey, Billy, let's join him out there. Right. Stop or I'll shoot. Hey. Everybody run. Tammy's got we a gun. We have orders to wait here in this spacecraft. And that's exactly what we're going to do. She is management material. We have to stick together. Oh, come on, guys. Now I want to do what I want to do. Imperial Margarine presents... Conquistador. Conquistador. Try to kill me with a forklift. I That's felt Ken. this excitement when I was fighting with the Wolf Raiders. Hmm? Ooh, step, step on a crack, break your mother's back. <laughs> your, own your mother was a saint, by the way. Yahoo! Top of the world, Ma! <laughs> <laughs> Like he got his prescription filled. Yep. Bang, bang, bang. And he's reverting to childhood. Bang, bang. Uh, I'm sorry about Ken. They've had a hard time with him adjusting to school. They say he's gifted, though. Uh, Martino, thanks. I've had eight cups. Say, how much longer now? His Excellency will be with you shortly. I don't. I believe you said that two hours ago. I don't need this crap. <laughs> New from Chun King. Oh, great, a floor show. Ooh, is the great T.E. Lawrence going to join us now? Uh, we don't know if we should stand because we don't know if you're a man or a woman yet. Mm. I'm Captain Joe. This is Rocky, our right. first officer. Wodenja, Lord of Kararu. <laughs> it's <a> Dorf! <laughs> he's a guy we can sit on. Oh God, we on asked you to leave your planet and come and help us. Because of hostilities with the Star Cesar. Romero. I don't understand. Why have they declared war on you? They want what we have. Mm -hmm. We have mineral resources Cesar is envious of. Cool. Rather than pay for them like everyone else, they think they can obtain them by force and violence. We used to laugh at Cesar. Now Unfortunately, bring me they've grown stronger. <laughs> Dangerously stronger. They've acquired a super weapon which could destroy our planet or possibly our whole constellation. Hmm. Hey, sounds like Jack Benny playing a violin. Hi. Indy, my friend Indy. Trumpy, you're stinky. Skin mittens. Now, Ken, honey, don't touch anything and stay close to mom. I'll just blend in with the crowd here. <laughs> A nun's habit for me? <laughs> no thanks, but you're sweet. I love the Ren Fest. Mm -hmm. Oh, they must have had a closeout on Taffeta. Look at those guys. Hmm. Kids. <laughs> I was one once. Whoa. What's this? Looks like I made a little something in the deal. It's Say, fun. This gives me an idea. Hi. How you doing? See you later. Must be Mardi Gras. Yeah. Carnival. Hey, a bar. Hey, Chris Walken's playing Russian roulette. Totally new concept. It's a church bar. Holy bar. Hello. 
Uh, say, Brandy, fetch another round. We serve them whiskey and wine. <laughs> oh, this Midori is really good. <laughs> Boy, I don't like your face. No, I'm not it's a big fan good. either, sir. Get you got lost. a nice personality. I guess you're not from here. Otherwise, you'd know it's good manners to drink with friends. Here. I'd rather Whoa. share a needle with Keith Richards. I told you to drink. Oh, Mom's going to smell careful. this on me. Doesn't he know I can kill him with one blow? <laughs> Some ego, buddy. Strangers aren't welcome. Going to be a fight. Fight, OK. Bye. Do -do 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 -do. Hey, where oh, are you going? Oh. Ah. Oh, to get a Band-Aid. Ow. My nose. It's my nose. Teacher. That's a problem with private school. Yeah, yeah, you get this. Uh, thank you, sir. May I have another? <laughs> I like you guys. Here's one more. Well, looks like we've got three separate views of love American <laughs> style. <laughs> gotta, gotta, gotta. Crunch. <laughs> Bam. Buck. Biff. Happy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Lay down the boogie and play that funky music till you die. Till you die? Next on Taxi, or Barney Miller, one of the two. What? Oh, he killed him with a curling iron. Oh, my goodness. Just a gigolo. Get him! Yeah, get him. It's his turn to buy the pitcher. Oh, he stumbled back into the Renaissance Festival. Huzzah! There's a place on Mars where the women smoke cigars. <laughs> you looked in my bag, I'll have to kill it. Marion! Oh, suddenly it is this tower here. Hey, that's a dressing room. Where is he? I saw him going there. Come on. Indy. Oh, it's a woman's restroom. We can't go in there. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous, you know? Sir, I think you're losing them. Tell a joke or juggle or something. Just a second. I'll be right back. What, did you say something to him while I was sleeping? What gives? Hmm. Hey, look, it's the All Ken Network. Look who's in trouble. What did he do? Killed a man just for snoring too loud. Who's Dr. ready for Wars pudding, huh? in the spacecraft during our negotiations. Hmm? That man was arrested in a storehouse for precious stones. Arrested? What was he doing in there? Your Excellency, if he left the ship, it was in direct violation of my orders. You ordered him to steal the stones. Oh, thanks no. for spitting that on fellow was new to our crew. King? I'm afraid he doesn't take orders seriously. I ordered him to stay aboard. Then you don't mind if I cut off his head. Oh, that's why we brought him. Not at all. <laughs> Suit yourself. Huh? I tire of pudding. Bring me something Order salty and crunchy and sweet. <laughs> Where were we? Goofy land. We, uh, yeah. We're discussing the fee. That's right. Oh, uh, yes. Let me give you your down payment. My little bag. One. Little. Two. Little. Three. Little oh, Indians. <laughs> I love that one. Three. <laughs> it's Jimmy Carl Black, the Indian in the group. Oh, from the mothers? Oh. Yeah. It's Knox Black? Ooh. We'll collect the rest on completion. Of the Brooklyn Bridge? Hey, Sonny Rollins is out there. Uh, my helmet's chafing, Steve. You? Oh. Eagle, quit playing that. Sure is quiet. Mm -hmm. Too quiet. That oboe's coming from that room. It's the Rite of Spring. Stravinsky? They let him have a chamber group in his cell? Uh, no, a chamber pot. Oh, it's a musical pot. Thanks for a little prelude, guys. Hmm. I've got a crazy star wolf idea that just might work. His Mickey Mouse gloves give him incredible power. That's a trademark of one of the... Hmm? 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 
<laughs> Spider-Man. Yeah, but not the new Spider-Man, the old Spider-Man when he had the good costume and when... It... Oh. Huh? Oh, great. First day on a job, I lose a guy. Huh? Come on, get down. This is no monkey cage. This is no disco. This ain't no fooling around. <laughs> I was just, just checking out the, the layout here. The cove moldings. Like you get a couple cobwebs and stuff. I can't find one. I'll make one. Cut the funny stuff. You've just been ordered executed. That ought to take the smile off your face. Not if you do it right. By the way, don't waste your energy. You can't get out of here. No earthling can. Earthling? Not even a wolf raider could break out of this place. Is that so? We'll see about that. Meanwhile, back at the cool ship. Captain, anyone can make a mistake. Just as long as you don't keep on repeating it. I think we should get rid of Ken. Which one? I disagree. Hmm? Have you already forgotten? Ken saved our lives. I think he deserves another chance. Conviction. Don't you agree? Yeah. Okay. Man of firm conviction. I guess you're right. I'll take him back on one condition. You stop drinking Sir? and start going to meetings. As a Cesar officer in that jail. Mm. Mm. You think Ken can help him break out of there? Mm. Let's go to it. Establish contact with Ken's secret radio on the double. Now yes, you guys sir. go ahead. I'm sick. I'll just stay here and uh, you know go through that. I wish I had a harmonica. Hmm? Cleveland, you're on the air. Ken, can you hear me? It's me. Man, I really miss you, dude. We haven't talked since high school. What's How going you on? You told me about this cute little gadget. You don't have to know everything. <laughs> What's romance without a little sure surprise? Double cross us. And I guess I've passed your examination, haven't I? Now what do you want me to do? Listen uh, carefully. Turn There's your no head and call. Ken, there's a Cesar officer in your jail. We need him as camouflage when we move on to Cesar. <laughs> they won't suspect anything if we show up with one yeah, of their like officers. <laughs> we want you to contact that officer. Get him and yourself out of the prison. Why don't you just ask the Kararan authorities to release us? Well, if you're uh, so smart, why are you in jail? Yeah. Five minutes, and they got suspicious. If I say I want to take him to Cesar, chances are they'll think I've joined forces with their mortal enemies. Are you sure I can find him and get him out of this prison? Sure, Ken. I have complete confidence you can bring it off. Of course I'm Somebody's drunk. Coming. And I'm sure the other inmates haven't heard a word of this. We're just sleeping. <laughs> Works every time. He's gone now. Meat. Listen, sir. Aren't the Kararans likely to suspect you if I break out of here? Kararans can suspect anything they want, as long as I can get off this planet with. And he's got the gems in his cheeks. Only, how am I supposed to get out of this prison cell? Those bars are as strong as tree trunks. <laughs> Here's how I escape. <laughs> oh, oh. Star Wolf, suddenly going soft? Just give me my orders. Soft Wolf. You'll find you've got some clever little items with you. Go on. Okay. <laughs> I want you to listen carefully. All right, I'm using a I split screen. Can you Fine. see me now? It's the Patty Duke show. Now take a good look at your far right shoulder button. Stop, made you look. <laughs> equipped it with a miniature nuclear device. You'll find Shouldn't the ignition I have on known the that? Side. Works a little like a grenade. Neat. Whatever you want to blow up, attach it to it. Mm. Are any more of these buttons grenades? Check your lapel. Now you see how much I trust you. It's genuine Thanks. mother of pearl there. Now then, what happens if I don't find this Cesar officer? Ah, you we will. blow your neck off. Well, okay. because you have to. Let's blow ours. You don't bring away. It off. I'm hey. abandoning you here. Look, don't you think this is an awfully tall order? Hmm. Ken, I know you can handle it. <laughs> Joel, doggone it, this film has me bamboozled. Yeah, think about it. We've got this guy who used to wear a wig but doesn't anymore, who's joined up with Captain Gerbil and the Leatherette Squad, and everybody's having more flashbacks than Bruce Dern in the trip. Yeah, oh. and now he's held captive by Don Ho and the kid who drinks Tranya, and who's fighting who and why? And why are all these alien transvestites attacking Earth anyway? And what about this Japanese preoccupation with the name Ken? Okay, okay, you guys, take it easy. I knew you were going to have a problem with this movie, but that's what I'm here for, okay? okay. The real right. problem with this film is it's not really a movie at all. It's just a bunch of Japanese TV shows strung together to look like a movie. So that's what's going on. So it's yeah. like Bergman's scenes from a marriage, then. Exactly. 
Huh? Yeah. Oh, Perfect. or uh, Schwartz's uh, very Brady Christmas. Now just yeah, listen up, you two. You just might learn something. Oh, hey, this is the screenplay model developed by Sid Field in his runaway bestseller book, Screenplay. Oh. Here's how it works. Cambot, help me out here. The first act establishes setting, uh -huh. and the major characters will get to know. And then the first plot point comes along and sends it all up, ah. zigging everywhere and into another direction. So, oh. can anybody give me an example of what that would be in today's movie. Ah, uh, oh, um, uh, the credits. No, Crow, come on. Oh, 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 I know, I know. It's when Mephisto and the blonde chick with the, 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 the oh, I'm just grabbing at straws here, Joel. No, everybody, it's when Ken joins Star Force and goes up against his old allies. Uh, which Ken? Oh, the one with the wig, right? Oh. Right. Yeah. Now in act okay. two, we reveal the conflict in the film. Does anybody know what that is? Take a leap, Crow. Oh, uh, let's see, it's either the credits or oh. Uh, 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 well, it's uh, when Ken, in the wig, fights his own inner struggle, uh, which is punctuated with his conflict with the other crew members and his shaky alliance with Captain Cheeky, who drinks a lot, uh, by the way, and, oh, that's the subplot. Oh. <laughs> Very good, Crow. Okay, that's act two. Now, given these pieces of the puzzle, does anybody know how plot point two will turn out? Oh, 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 that's easy. Scout sees Atticus Finn shoot the dog in the street, which shows that he has the capacity Oh, no, that's To Kill a Mockingbird. I'm right. confused. I'll jump in here. Okay. okay, let's just imagine that the blonde assassin comes in and, and shows her love for Ken, her undying love for Ken, and instead uh -huh. of uh, serving two masters, yep. they uh, die in a Harry Carey love pact. What do you think? Now, come on, Joel, this is Sandy Frank, not Kurosawa. For uh, well, out. my guess is that it goes on like the mess it is with uh, no resolution, and we're all left feeling empty and unfulfilled like uh, Fast Binder's tragic heroine. Uh, Berlin Alexander Platz. You, my yeah. friend, get a ram chip. Ah. Yeah, all right. What do you think, sirs? Uh, well, uh, William Gold, Joel, we, we have a theory. Uh, you know, Toni Morrison, best known for her literary tour de force beloved, may well be one of the fastest <laughs> Time Time up, Frank. Where do I oh, take him when Jack I get him Perkins. out of here? Boy. Not back to the spaceship. Signal us when you're clear. <laughs> Over and out. Shoulder Fire phone off. off. When I talk to Ken, I touch myself. <laughs> hmm? What's that? Neat. I heard a noise. It's you Someone's talking. coming. Mmm, <laughs> horses. 12, 13 maybe. Coast is clear. But the tide is out. Open channel D. Blooming ground flower. Light, then get away with loud report. Ooh. <laughs> A hot knife through butter. Hi, Kiba. Eat it, Joe's. 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 Merry Xmas. Eat it, Joe's. Now this is a little something just for moi. I think Ken's making a little too much out of this. They're just Christmas lights for crying yeah. out loud. Something to do. Oh mm, well. Hmm? Huh? Could have sworn on. <laughs> kissing monster, kissing monster. Ooh. Dive. So much for those lights. Those dreams. <laughs> yeah. Why? These look like bars. Hmm. 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 It's a bus boy. Hey, can you clear my table? Hey. hey. It's ho, not hey. A lot of people get confused. You, the Cesar officer? I've heard so much yes. about Do you like me? Do you find me pleasing? <laughs> and I gather you're the Earthling who was captured earlier today. I've heard so them talk about How did you lately? get out of your cell? Just a little good luck. You escaped. No, I'm oh. still here. Would you come on? Listen. Do you want to know a secret? We've got no time to lose. Okay, do you want some fries with that then, sir? Oh, 
He's not a cesarean ah. officer. He's an Arby's trainee. The Kararans must have anesthetized me before they put me in my cell. Neat. I have no idea where I am in here. Can you guide me if I get you out? Yes. I've been locked up in this miserable place for the last two months. Aww. On my way to the courtyard for exercise, I've memorized every corridor. That's great. You look great. You're not afraid, are you? Can I trust you? You can. Just get me out of here. I will. Move away. Someplace nice, like the Hamptons. <laughs> See, it's a tiny time pill. <laughs> what manner of men are you who can summon flame without flint or tinder? Some call me Ken. Oh, it's neat. You can buy these things in North Dakota and Wisconsin. I buy them by the brick, by the gross. They're not like black cats and stuff. Uh, well, some some locks are two bomb locks. <laughs> I just tried again. Huh? Not like that. You gotta put it on two bars. Oh, yeah. Nice. Suddenly you're the explosive button expert, right? Mm -hmm. Alexander Salkin presents. Stupid boy. Yeah, in color. Who's a Alakazam? Hmm. Yeah, Rubbermaid bars. Neat. I've never seen anyone as strong as you are. Sepchina Easter. Come on, let's get out of here. Where to? To the top. Hooray! There's only one way out. Listen, the door's locked on the outside. Mm -hmm. What's on the other side? Two Karan guards. In paradise. Heavily armed. Hmm. Okay, here's what we do. <laughs> hey, that's <laughs> dirty. Oh, the whole hurt myself. Somebody help me. What's going on? Huh? Uh oh. <laughs> Good work. Let's go. Oh. It's Boots Ram. Oh, it's Bootsy Collins. Oh. I you die, Joe. We'll have to fight it out. Well, what do you think I we're doing? Yeah. Next time I say, let's go to Bolivia, let's go! Yeah. Not me, you idiot! No! Oh. Yeah. Oh. Kick fighting rhubarb! Oh. Oh. Shooting rhubarb! Oh. Fighting! Oh. Oh. Tumbling! Oh. Kill! Dying! Oh. 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 Ricochet rhubarb! It's okay, friend! Oh. 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 Ah. Right in the back! Oh. Oh. That hurt! Oh. 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 Spring breaking rhubarb! Come on! Give me one of those! No, not one of those! Thank you. You really picked those two up easily. Oh, I'm not a bad shot. Watch this. Oh, that was a thrill kill. Easy oh, shot. Duck alarm, run. Quick. Oh. Well, we got an extra point on that. This way. Salty. It's gray water. <laughs> oh. Delicious. Oh, they're only shooting flares. I think they're talcum bombs. Yeah, could be. Huh? Die, Joel! Huh? Button bombs! Whoa! Hey, wow, those things really work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta remember to take them off before you take your clothes to the laundry. Oh, oh yeah. Blow up a dry cleaner. Oh, this was a good plan, wasn't it? Oops. All right, come on in. Bring it down. Oh, little right, little right. Oh, there you go. Watch mm -hmm. your space cushion. <laughs> it's a little driving joke. Bring it down. Keep going. Come on, come on. No, I'm sorry you failed your test. You'll have to come back in two weeks. 
Happens to most of the guys. This is Joe. Hello, Joe. What do you know? Just got back from Kokomo. Please advise me of your position. Ken? Ken? Can you hear me? Ken, please come in. Ready? I love Ken and a guy named Ken and it hurts me so. I'm in love with a guy named Ken and it hurts me so. I'm in love with a guy named Ken and it hurts me so. It hurts me so. Ken, Moses? I don't think so. Meet him, Hade. Where would I be without you? I'm seeing things. No, you're seeing me. Is that what I am to you? This must be a hallucination. With that hair, it must be. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Rita! Rita man. What are you doing here? I've been trying to track you down for days. We got a radio message that you'd broken out of a Kararu jail. Hmm? They said you were a traitor. And here you are in an Earth Space Command uniform. Traiting? I was forced to wear this uniform. They said they'd kill me otherwise. Mm -hmm. A likely story. I don't know what's come over you, Ken. I want my tapes back. You've turned traitor. Abandoned me and killed my brother. It was an accident. Oh, okay. He was getting ready to shoot a little boy whose name also happened to be Ken. I was just trying to stop him. Hmm. Ken! Uh, we'll just run the clip. Don't shoot! <laughs> oh, come on. We're intimate with this scene for crying out loud. That's what really happened, Rita. I swear I'm telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. I'm not a traitor to our country. You know that. I simply refused to kill an innocent child. And I didn't want to fight with your brother. So I killed him. I believe you. You can't betray a country you never belonged to. Hmm? Ken, you once told me your father came to Valna as a missionary. Oh, that you bag. Is I thought they cleared that up in You're counseling. really an earthling. Go on. Go on. Murder me in cold blood if you want to. You deserve worse. Hmm? To die a slow death. Then what are you waiting for? I know Valna law as well as you do. I caused your brother's death, and now you've been sent out to kill me. Well, I'm all ready to die, Rita. Ken. You'd be doing me a favor. I can't live in dishonor. Go ahead, shoot! But first, swallow my lapel button. <laughs> As a symbol of our love, hmm? Shoot him down. Shoot to kill. Stinker. Buck fever. Oh, it's made out of electrician's tape. You're crying Come out on, loud. Get it over with. What's the point of living if the girl I love more than life itself thinks that I'm a traitor? Now, Rita! Now. Hey, you know, this is just like Richard III. It sure is. You won't do it. It took me seven days to get this gun. Now I can't Rita. use it. Damn. As you see, there was a dam in the background. That peasant blouse is all wrong on Rita. her. I can't do it. I can't kill the man I love. Then kill the one you're with. Oh, my foot! Oh, I'm having such a crappy day. Rita. Rita, Rita made. made. Where's her in tear again? My darling. Ken. I'm gonna have to remember that line for the bars. It works. <laughs> uh, um, you're, you're crying on my bomb. Ooh. Yeah. Ouch. Oh. Rita. Oh, oh, get oh. off the milk to tilt the world. Oh, oh, oh. oh it's over. Well, that was great. What happens to us now? Are we both just fugitives in space? Hmm? Mm -hmm. No matter what you and I say or do, they'll never let us go home. Valna, I'd love to see it again. What do we need Valna for? We've got each other. We can start a new life somewhere else. On a slag Rita, heap? It won't work. They'll never leave us in peace, you know that. How can you say that? If we keep loving each other, we'll find a way. Boy, you are not. How long can that love last? You know what you'll see every morning when you wake up? Hmm? You'll be staring straight at the man who killed your brother. Will you be there too? Ken. It won't work, Rita. Too much has already happened to us. Hmm. Soon we'd start hating each other. I won't let you do. talk like that. It just won't work. Why didn't you kill me before? Oh. What? You heard. Kill me and get it over with. Come on, chicken, you chicken. Come on, kill me. Come on, chicken. I wonder what he's thinking. Ditcher! Go, <laughs> run! 
I uh, killed your other brothers, by the way. Ken. Traitor. Hmm? It was you who fired that shot. It was you. Wait, let me explain. Oh, Rita. darn. The most important part of me just died, too. Well, at least he gets to keep that swell Star Trek stuff. Well, honey, looks like I'm gonna have to gut ya. <laughs> oh. That's it. Make it look like a robbery. I heard gunfire! Are you all right? Where have I'm you been? Fine. The others are dead. Hmm? Who's she? What happened to her? A Carreran girl what got caught the in the crossfire. Hmm. Bummer. It's late. We better get going. There's nothing we can do here. But I'm thirsty again. What do you get off? going? Goodbye, Rita. Goodbye. Come back. I'm not dead. You didn't check for a pulse. Next time on Twin Peaks. Is it help, Ken? I've got you. Come here, you. Come on. Let him go. <laughs> Drop him. Would you take those rocks out of your pockets? Rock climbing, Joel. Rock climbing. Yeah. Rock. Hmm? Cesar Romero? Edmund Hillary? Oh, they're down there. Jump for it. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> New from the Franklin Mint. Oh, <laughs> sending him a message. He's saying, hey, my emblem came off. Ken and his friend are free. They're free to Ken Ken and his friend are free. They're free to be you and me. I'm blind, I'm blind, help me. <laughs> Take a picture of us, we're posing. Last longer. Ken! Nice teeth. Captain Ken made it. Captain Ken made it? What about the hmm? Cesar officer? He's there too. I knew he'd pull it off. Well, let's break out the liquor. Oh, I drank it all. Ken, you Ken did it! Ken! Good work, son. I Welcome was back, so Ken. I'm worried about you. Oh, Ken! <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Let me introduce Ken. myself. I'm a man of wealth Colonel and taste. Sir? Welcome, Colonel. I'm Captain Joe. Welcome aboard. This is my fleet of Elvis impersonators. Yes, sir. Join me for up all night. We'll see movies. Bacchus 3 will be back in Sweet Sweetback's badass song. A movie. Bye. I wet him. Say goodbye to Rita, Star Trek stuff. And it's out of focus. In my pocket, it will stay. Oh, no, to be continued. Ah, oh, oh, no. Get us out of here, Joel. Oh. <laughs> well, this one over here dispatches uh -huh. a special aquatic version of Greenpeace's Rainbow Warriors to go out Ooh. and do battle against the man. Heavy. Rave on, Joel. Hype it up, buddy. Whoa. Right. Well, this one over here, well, heaven forbid the robot that may try to touch this button or even brush against it, for that robot would become my personal slave. No, no robot can venture too far out of the ship, especially if such a robot were to disguise his true identity from me in the form of Featherin, 
Where? For, heaven help Where? that poor robot Where? that may try that. Really? Uh, let me try. <clears throat> okay, here we go. No, no, that would be an abomination Whoa. to all robots everywhere. Well, what's that other one do? This is, is portion control. Uh, Next question. Oh. Okay, how about that one? This no, does any one. number of phantasmagorical and wondrous things, the most benign being that Tommy Jeffries, who lives in Belize and dad works on an oil derrick, gets a tasty pudding snack. What a rush. That Joel Robinson is one bad Shut mouth. your mouth. I was talking about Joel. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> anyway, we've got a letter here from David A.D. Cordoba. Way to go, kid. Thanks, Mr. Crow. And he <laughs> writes in to answer to the question of what is the cool thing that we did oh, a while yeah. back. Yeah. And he writes, let's put this up on Still Store. He writes, Dear Gentlemen and Gypsy, concerning the cool gypsy, thing, cool thing uh, my guess is that you saw a time portal floating in space, taking into account that overall the crew is against imperialism, jingoism, church state is one, fascism, exploitation, racism, in short, all those ideals held dear by our world leaders here on Earth. I'd venture to say this time portal showed mankind living in peace. Well, we're sorry, David A. D. Cordoba from Seattle, Washington, but this was the cool thing. Mexican stoplight candy. Oh, what a burn. What do you think, mm. sirs? Now this to me is good TV, being genetically altered on cable television. Ann Dillard will be out to discuss her, her new book, and then later on, Topol, that robust star of Fiddler on the Roof, will be out. Frank, why are we off the air? Oh, I thought it was time to push the button. Besides, don't you want to get started uh, genetically altering Jack Perkins? Look, we don't go off until I say we go off. Now, run down to the storeroom and get that spare head. I've got a mad posh to give Jack Perkins the head of Vivian Vance. Sorry, Sarge. Ah, uh, Vivian Vance. Ah, 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 ah! You're stuck here. Turn your knob to Bob! Bob, 100 FM! Bob plays a ton of new country. Bob's got a hot new signal. You can listen everywhere. It's Bob! Bob, 100 FM. Bob plays the most new country. Garth! Reba! Clint! Winona! I love my Bob. Turn your knob to Bob! Bob, 100 FM! Turn your knob to Bob. Now, wherever you are, Bob is there. So turn your knob to Bob. Bob, 100 FM. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his bosses didn't like him, so they shot him in the space.
what I mean. Okay, I'm up to speed so far. Your point is that Big Bird cannot be considered a puppet because of his or her uh, its size. Right, right, and its size, and don't forget the feet. Once a puppet has feet, it ceases being uh, a puppet and starts being a costume. Well, what about Topo Gigio? He was a puppet with feet. Oh, give me a break. If you want to get technical, Lamb Chop had feet, too. Topo Gigio was an Italian black art rod puppet. Come on, Crow, that's a subcategory. Oh, look who's arguing semantics now. Well, Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Joel Robinson. Looks like we've stumbled upon the robot's weekly ontological discussion about the nature of puppets. And the symbiotic relationship to man. Right, and their symbiotic relationship to man. Let's watch the fireworks. See? All right, if you're so smart, what would you call H.R. Puffin stuff? Well, that's a costume. Remember the puppet paradigm. Feet plus inarticulated mouth means costume. What about Yoda? Well, Yoda was a humanly articulated floating armature creature used in combination with radio contorted servos and air bladder. What about puppet or costume, Tom? Come on. Oh, right, you got me. I don't know. See, I rest my case. Okay, here's one for you. What would you call Senior Wences, the ventriloquist who built his career out of talking to his hand? I'd call that a cry for help. Interesting. Okay, if you two are ready, let's begin. Here's a quick pop quiz on the many varied celebrity puppets in show business past and present. Okay. And I want you to define the genius of each of these characters I list. Genius. We'll begin with some characters from television. Cambot, keep score, and watch the clock. Ready? Let's begin. Rolf the dog. Crow. Uh, puppet. Puppet, yeah. Could you be more specific? Tom Servo. Muppet. Right, exactly. OK, next. Meow, meow, kitty. Crow. Uh, puppet. Uh, what kind of puppet? Uh, hand. Yes, and? A lame hand puppet. Yes, yes, very good. OK, next. Kukla. Oh, boy, this is tough. Kukla. Kukla or Ollie, I'll take either one. Oh, 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 I know Crow. that one. Uh, hard shell head, soft cloth body, hand puppet with sock sleeve coverlet. Very good, I thought you were out of the running for that one. Now these next are going to get a little bit harder. Okay, let's continue. Mm -hmm. Spitting image. Oh, oh, outrageous and wickedly funny foam and latex puppets. Okay, correct, DC Follies. Uh, shameless Sid and Marty Croft ripoff. Very good, ooh, the Mads are calling. Ooh. Hello, Button. Let's slam straight away into this week's invention exchange. Big noses. Uh, that's right, uh, the super schnoz. El grande vosotros. What? Big noses. Uh, right, right. Uh, Durante, eat your heart out. Big honkers. Coming at you. In 3D. <laughs> Do I smell pie in the oven? Uh, not in this building. Say, doctor, sports scent tonight? Well, what's the point of the big noses anyway? Well, they're just really big, you know? Just think of the stuff you could do with them. Very useful. Now I can brown nose myself. Wow, you and I are kind of on the same wavelength. I thought of my invention exchange as being this big head. Who's that guy with the big head? Hey, Joe, can you big help me with my algebra? Sure, head. no problem. It's big a snap with my new with big, big head. head. Well, say, Joel, do people make fun of you now that you have a big head? Oh, sure, big people are naturally head. curious. Big but then I explained to them that I've got a really big head. Big head. No uh, Joel, are you in any pain? Uh, no, it's just a really big head. Big head. So I guess we can say that you got a big head there, huh? Yeah, you can. Big is all outdoors. It's real big, sirs. Yeah. What do you think? I know a man in Chicago once that had a big head. Uh, no, it was nowhere near that big. Oh, doctor, I don't mean to stick my nose into your business. <laughs> 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 but shouldn't we really be getting to the movie? <laughs> uh, right you are, my long-nosed companion. Joel, your experiment this week is going to be like biting down on a double-edged razor blade. It's called Fugitive Alien 2, and it's every bit as stanky as part one. Send him the movie, Frank. Hey, this is Sandy Frank. This is F Sandy Frank on drugs. Any questions? <laughs> Uh-oh, Fugitive Alien 2, Electric Boogaloo, The Heretic, Nerds in Paradise, On the Move, Citizens on Patrol. Star Force times two. Two times the action, two times the confusion. Boom. <laughs> I love this music. 
Please remain seated until the building has come to a complete stop. Mick Malixvi, he's the Scottish guy in charge of copyright. Yeah, copyright, yeah. yeah that's right. Hey, this music is perky. I'm feeling really good. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, this is gonna be fun, guys. I'm feeling really... Uh, who are we kidding? This is a Fugitive Alien sequel. We're in for the two most painful hours of our lives. <laughs> Come on, you guys. We gotta be strong. Try not to fall apart. Come on, we've been through too many Sandy Frank films together to let him defeat us now. A thousand light years away from our solar system lies Valna Star. We know. A mysterious planet with an enriched atmosphere which imparts superhuman strength Take to it. all who dwell upon it. <laughs> Valna Star is ruled hey. by Lord Halcyon. An evil genius who has created a race of warriors, the Star Wolves. Neat. On a mission of destruction to Earth, Star uh -huh. Wolf Ken is ordered to kill a child. His refusal starts a fight which results in the death of his best friend. Uh -huh, uh -huh. As punishment, Ken is set adrift in outer space. And forced to watch this but film. Ken is found and rescued by the crew of the Earth spaceship Bacchus III. Uh -huh. and soon he becomes a member of the crew. Ken's girlfriend Rita has been sent to find and destroy him. But it is she who is subsequently killed. In goofy scenes like this. It was you who fired that shot. It was you. Yeah, so? Oh. What of it? Rita. Meet her maid. Hey! Oh, hey! My chick's dead! Hey! <laughs> Only one memory of Rita remains. Her golden Valna medallion. Which Ken hawked for a pack of cigarettes. Ken will never forget her. Or the visa bill she ran up, huh? Oh, it's over then. Amen. Um, is it Amen or Now Amen? Ken and his Earth comrades are off in quest of new adventure. Their mission to fly to Cesar, find a secret weapon, and destroy it. And hopefully do a little Let's shopping. Let's look at that wound, Ken. Oh, good. It's healing beautifully. Okay? Yeah, I remember I'm this. I'm Ken, he is my friend. Well, well, I must say you're a real angel of mercy. Ken, you never fuss like this when I get hurt. You always tell me, bear it like a man. Oh, uh, come on, Dan, your problem is you're jealous. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> really Quit teasing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Terrific. I love Ken, Dan, just keep your eye on the course. I don't trust Curly. There's something peculiar about him. Mm-hmm, <laughs> that's good I've blow. I've heard you want to say top experts in advanced defense technology. You heard right. Uh -huh. And you probably know all about that uh, secret weapon Cesar yep. is said to have imported from another planet. Pretty much. Is there any truth to those rumors, Colonel? They say it could blow up the universe. Or worse. Where did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, occasionally I tune in to the intergalactic grapevine. <laughs> Captain Joe, shut up. I take it. You're trying to enlist my cooperation for a mission you're about to undertake. <gasps> Before I say yes or no, I'll need to know a bit more about your intentions. I'll love you all the days of my life. I don't know whatever gave you the idea we're planning a mission. We're just out for a ride. A little excursion to discover more facts about our universe. <laughs> you don't say. And how do I know I can trust you? This Ken fellow seems mighty suspicious to me. Hmm. <laughs> Ken's just a bit of a loner. Go on, I'll call him in and you can talk to him yourself. Ken's a loner? How long before your Ken is fixed? <laughs> Ken? Tammy? I want to see you. Oh, great. He found out about the keg. <laughs> Plot point right there. Hmm? This is a girl officer's insignia. Say. How did you get it? Through a lot of hard work and a lot of pancake makeup. When you were sleeping, I heard you call a girl's name out loud. Oh, and I put your hand in warm water. Rita, I think. I believe that was it. Does the name Rita mean anything to you? Uh, it's a Beatles song. Ken! This is our present position. Pegasus R2 by S4. Right here. Here's the Spencer Gifts. Distance to Cesar is a roller time. A roller, huh? A roller deck. Two, one, three, sir. Course 3 7 is perfectly safe. It's when we switch to course T that we're likely to run into trouble. There's a huge black hole near R5 by 9. I don't and know any way we can navigate around it. Vicious dog to the left. Black hole, huh? Neat. It swallows up anything that comes anywhere near it. Boop. I don't think we can risk it. Oh, look, another painting by Judy Chicago. Now back to our movie. This puts a new light on the conditions of our mission. A black light. 
The odds against success are extremely high. Mm. Well, then I'm extremely mm. high. <laughs> On the other hand, if you gotta go, I can't think of a better way. Huh? That's yeah. not funny, sir. I'll say it isn't. I don't want to vanish in thin air. When my time comes, I want to go out in glory. I want to be torn apart by <laughs> Spoken animals. Spoken like a true woman and a naive one. <laughs> naive yourself. <laughs> Me so silly. Captain <laughs> Joe, you don't necessarily have to get swallowed up in a black hole. But it helps. <laughs> if you charge your course carefully, you can go through a tunnel out to a white hole in safety. It's a tricky maneuver. Turkey? Where did you hear that? Where did I hear it? I'm afraid I don't remember. I guess it was at one of those scientific briefings I attended. Yeah, at my aunt's house or something. Uh. Hmm. Ken, wait, you're walking down someone's throat. <laughs> wait a second, I didn't tell you the punchline. Come on. A slip of the tongue and you gave your whole game away, didn't you? Yep. I don't understand. Do you find me pleasing? I know for a fact that only a handful of wolf attackers have ever made it through a black hole and still live to tell the tale. I only had to put two and two together to realize you're a star wolf. Who are you to judge? Oh. Don't be a fool, Ken. I'm the only friend you've got here. What's up? What's going on? It's all my fault. Yeah, he was just showing him where his larynx was. I foolishly made a sarcastic remark about earthlings. Ken was right to act as he did. Hmm. Ill-chosen words have been known to start wars. Yeah, like the sarcasm wars of 1999. <laughs> what a dipstick. I don't like that guy. And I don't like you either. The feeling is mutual, right? Oh, Rocky, who do you like? Captain, come up here, quick! Here comes the surprise! surprise! Happy, Happy birthday to you! Look at that, sir. What do you make of it? That's ah, one of those nut clusters. Looks like a meteorite. Quite a big one. Yeah. Just one thing's wrong. I don't see it on any chart. Hmm? By the time they get it on the chart, it'll probably have broken up. Like most rock bands. Oh, huh? good one. <laughs> yes, yeah. I speak the truth. You yeah. bet. Amen. Looks like we're getting into hostile territory. We have to be on our guard. Rocky, take the controls. Uh, Billy, Ken. back to your station. Yes, sir. Rocky, you hate Ken. Ken, you make goofy faces. Tammy, you love Rocky. Or, or Ken. Colonel, you're ruling. That's your seat there. But Captain... He said, sit down. But he didn't say hey. Simon Says. He said Captain Says. Oh, wait a minute. Which is moving, the stars or the ship? Uh, stars? Pink Floyd on the headphones set the controls for the heart of the sun. It's broccoli. I hate broccoli. Wouldn't be pretty. You know, he's got Christy McNichol cheeks, you know? Yeah. Look at him. I don't wow. like this at all. Ken. Yes, sir. Destroy the meteorite with the forward laser. Okay. Yes, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. Captain Joe, we're still alive. That's the only thing that counts. No, it no, isn't. No, cleanliness is the only thing that counts. I won't feel safe while he's alive. Kill him. What do you think you're doing? We've got a mission to accomplish. I'm just going to remove an obstacle. Your eyebrow. <laughs> Ken, stop him! If he kills me, you're next! Easy, Rocky. This isn't the right moment. Out of my way. Rocky, hold your fire. Again! I'm sorry to say we still need him. Need him for what? We rescued him to guide us to Cesar, and he'll do it. Lock him up. Whatever you say. I just hope you know what you're doing. I just want to say your the makeup sucks. It, as long as this guy is traveling with us, our mission is threatened. We'll huh? never make it to Woodstock. Well, here you are. It isn't the royal suite. But it'll just have to do. You want room service? Dial nine. And there's a mint on the pillow. I need some towels! Listen to me. If you want to make it to Cesar in one piece, you need me to guide you. Any minute now, we'll be going by Demeter's star. It'll set us on fire. Let me out! Let me out! I'm going to hold my breath till I turn blue. Oh, I'm already... Oh, I did it again. I'm already blue. Zing yourself there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, diarrhea uh, is like a storm raging inside you. Uh, I'm coming, Elizabeth. Ooh. He's hallucinating split ends. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> Who am I trying to kid? I'm not sick. Ooh, that's good, Emil. Oh, oh. What's the cabin temperature? Oh, 
It's hotter than my great aunt's apartment. Ten perature. <laughs> that seems a bit high. Sunny side oh, of the street. It's even hotter outside. Uh, that calls for a drink. Right. Yeah. I'll go check it out. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Look at that star. You look at it. I'm bitter. I don't get it. That star. Why, that's the meter star. Oh, it should be bigger than a meter. How'd we get here? It isn't on our course. Hmm. Ooh. Look at this. We're just drifting, sir. Mm -hmm. Cesar isn't anywhere near here. Wow. We'll have to correct our course. Switch over to 730. Oh, what is that? Traffic information? <laughs> It won't move. There's something wrong. Yeah, it's this movie. It sucks. <laughs> we must be caught in Demeter's magnetic field. All the controls are blocked. Man, if it's not one thing, it's another. Honey, I'm going to be Lock very in. late. Got to see you right away. It's an emergency. Lock in. You shouldn't spend too much time away from the bathroom. Oh, oh, oh. oh could you armor I'm all back. my suit? Rocky. Oh. Again. Rocky. Again. Wrong. <laughs> That's good, girl. <laughs> Captain. I scored another We're game. Back to normal. Ooh. All engines at full thrust. Engines full thrust. That's full thrust. Yeah. Lay. Thank you. Look, huh? Looks like an aerosol can. I don't feel right about this at all. You and me both, pal. You and me both. Something suspicious. <laughs> we better get out of here, or we'll be roasted alive. Oh. Huh? Oh, Rocky, no. I'm a paper boy. Come on. It was the salmon moose. Rocky, what's wrong? Oh, Rocky cubed it. Ooh. Pants too tight. I'm uh, turning Japanese. pain in my back. I really think so. Ma. What? Uh, Rocky. Oh, I'm feeling dizzy. Ken, take over. Yes, sir. Captain! Ooh. She's looked better, hasn't she? <laughs> Tommy, it's all right. Tommy, help me! Oh, 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 come on. You kids are just overtired. You're fighting sleep now. I want you to go to bed. Come on. Come on. Those are just the after effects of the ultra high speed we needed to get through the black hole. Oh, You'll just have to sleep it off. I'll get you some medication. For me, too, sir. All right. Here, you too. For me, too, sir. Take it. Sir? Yeah? Are you sure you'll be all right? You went through the black hole too. Yeah, I'll, I'll be, be okay. fine. I got my friend Don't Jack to help me. <laughs> what is he in an auto mask? Looks like it. I could check it out. Oh, oh, chicken salad. Grab me a chick salad. What's the matter? Can anyone hear me? Sure. It's so hot. Where is all this heat coming from? No, you see, it's not the heat. It's the humidity. You see, the comfort index. Listen has... to me. Oh. I've got something important to tell you. I'm the unsinkable Molly Brown. I think they could make bigger doors. <laughs> well, sir, how are they doing? Okay, I gave them something to calm them down. They're just gonna have to sleep it off. I do that a lot. Oh, still awfully hot in here. Yeah, turn up I the know. AC. Captain, mm -hmm. we really ought to move away as quickly as we can. I think we ought to boost the engines. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Ah, uh, curly fries are up, sir. Hmm? Oh, at least they spelled speed right. <laughs> Engine trouble. No, oh, I told you to check the oil. Didn't we fill it up in Eau Claire? Okay, I'll take her up. Those daring young men in their jaunty little oppies. What is with you, sir? Did you eat those radishes again? <coughs> ooh, What's the matter? Ooh. Hmm? Dad, wake up! Wake up, you're late for cram school! Rocky! Rocky! Rocky man. You gotta wake up! You gotta wake up! Rocky! Ah, oh, geez, he's been reading Bukowski again. Let me out of here! Huh? Let me out of here! Oh, fooey. We have no time for you now! You just stay in here and stop all that yelling! Yeah, you'll just have to hold it. Do you notice this heat? What's causing it? I want to know exactly where we are. Enough of your questions. Be quiet. I'll just have to get back to you later. Bye. Listen to me. Pay attention. We mustn't get near to meet your star. Why not? 
This heat's coming from the engines. You little fool. <gasps> you little minx. Don't you realize that Demeter's star is about to explode? What's that? Really? We never said anything oh, about... Oh, looks like Captain Joe is drunk again. Uh, for those of you playing along at home, in Fugitive Alien 1, Captain Joe is portrayed as quite the drinking man. <laughs> now this. Ooh. I'm gonna feel like him all Oh, I'll be okay. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm something I hate, I think. Focus. Focus. Help me get him off the floor. Oh, oh. Boy, would you wipe my brow? Yeah, yeah. You don't look very good, well, you know? That's okay. Game my left arm is a little now. numb. I don't know. Yes. Must have been a. Oh, I'm fine. So. <coughs> high speed. What's Captain? going on here? You're rolling. We'll let you out. Captain, listen to me. Uh huh. You don't realize what's going on. This sort of heat is only generated by a star that's about to die. That's what's happening to Demeter, and we've got to get out of here. Oh, what's that? Okay. Then it'll explode. Yeah. Listen, Ken, Colonel Yerulin is the only one who knows his way around here, and we're going to have to enlist his help. <sighs> okay, sir. Captain, oh. first we must find oh, out what's wrong with the guys. Huh? All right. Oh, boy. Uh, no I'm, I'm, I'm feeling really bad. <laughs> Ken, let's go. Oh, boy, I feel like I'm just sinking off a, a, a spooky drunk. Oh, 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 Tug Servo's dead! He's dying! It must have been that movie! Oh man, we're losing him! A robot watches a bad film. It renders him unconscious. Next, on emergency 911. Crow, you gotta step oh, out of Shabner oh, and help oh, me! Oh. It means the life of our friend Tom Servo! <laughs> but I must finish Tech Wars of Venusia, must direct Star Trek 9, the search for Spock's intelligence. Hooker's a good cop. Oh, he's a good cop. Oh, oh, you listen to me and you listen good. I need you to snap out of Shander. I need you here now. Our friend's life hangs in the balance. Oh, I'm sorry, Joe. I didn't know. I know, man. I know. But we got to get a little buddy out of the bone orchard, OK? Listen, I need you to run along and get the defibrillator. And I'm going to try to get our brother Tommy out of the Badlands. OK, all right. Come all right. on, man. Come on back. All We're right. all pulling for you, buddy. <laughs> hey, hey, Joel, is the defibrillator the thing that looks like a vacuum cleaner or a thing that looks like the battery charger? It's a thing that looks like the battery charger. Now, would you get it together, man, and get out here? It means some servo's life all right, here, all right, buddy. All right, uh, uh, okay, uh, hold up, buddy. He's coming. Come on, old dog. Come on back, buddy. Clear. Clear. <sighs> Nothing. Oh. Clear. Clear. He's coming back! He's coming back! Come, Come on, on, Tommy! Oh, 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 oh. Sean Dunson up to the plate now. A beautiful day here at Wrigley Field. Boy, let me tell you, perfect for an ice cold Budweiser. Oh, and you know Lincoln carpeting it, man. Oh, 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 oh. Joel, Crow, what the heck happened to me? It's okay, buddy. You're among the living now. Oh, that was weird. I was walking down a long hallway. And at the end of it, there was a bright light and a kind man with a beard reaching his hand out to me, beckoning me. And he looked at me as I got closer and he said, Hey, buddy, can you spare some change? I want a cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, everything's a joke to you. That's great. We got commercial sign. We should have let you die. Ah, life. You guys just have no sense of humor. Oh, I First of all, spoils, spoils. I have to check the Z oh, system baby. over here. All right. Say. Mm. Oh. Uh -huh. Peeky boo. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh, there it is, apartment 3B. Is this the super? <laughs> oh, cheap huh? Japanese crap. Yeah. Look at that. It's crying out loud. There we go. You know, you want to turn the power off before you work with something like that. But he's in rubber suit. Do -do 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 -do. What? Oh. Captain Joel? Ken here. Ken. I can't hold out uh. much longer. 
Hurry up. Whoa, Linda Blair all of a sudden. Are you all right? Captain. Trying to kill me with a forklift. Ah, oh, cheap Japanese crap. What? You're ruling here. What is it? Colonel, you're ruling. I'm worried about the captain. Please check on him. All right. Right away. I'm doing it. Jeez. <laughs> You know, apparently it's one of those things where if the taillight goes out, the whole thing shuts down. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, Jeannie wants to get out of there. Look. <laughs> drink me, drink me. Come on and drink me. Captain Joe, is anything the matter? Oh, I'm Captain. fine. Just reflecting on the Upanishads, young man. What's wrong, Captain? Captain! <clears throat> I better take over the controls. Okay. You sit back there. Yeah, you sleep. I'll drive till Cleveland. <sighs> it's not one thing, it's another. This crazy ship. You're crying out loud. Hey, hey, turn off your brights. Uh, Damn it. Turn the high beam, the high beams. Ken, we're getting closer. Get that engine fixed right away. Now it's up to Ken. Huh? The fate of the entire crew is in his hands. He will have to locate aye, the aye, short aye. circuit somewhere in the system <sighs> before the <sighs> spacecraft gets closer to the exploding star. Otherwise. That's all is lost. I knew Votech would pay off. I'm a graduate of DeVry. Say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can get free HBO now. Woo! Colonel, I fixed it. Start the engines, let's get going. All right. Oh, that was Ken. He's working late. He'll be out for a while. I might as well go ahead and eat. This was a really important part to film here. Yeah. Now, where are my keys? I love to. Oh, they're wrong. Oh. It isn't working. I can't make it start. That wasn't it. You better check it again. But Colonel, pop it a argue. few times. I don't understand. It's got to work. Oh, got it. Oh, Sandy Frank, Sandy Frank. He eats a lot of boys in <laughs> Just wrapped a gum wrap around the fuse. <laughs> Colonel. Try it again. I'm sure it'll work now. Are you there? Now Colonel. hang up on your end. Now hang up. I'm hanging up. <laughs> I love this song. What a way to die listening to the Tijuana Brass. <laughs> this is the song about the Bacchus 3 crew. They're gonna die from all the heat. He, he tried, tried to kill me with the forklift. Away. <laughs> that looks like a real uncomfortable Halloween costume. I got to keep going. I got to date with girl in hot pants. Uh. I know what it is that flies your developer for. Oh man, no more jello shots. I mean it. This is it. Now I quit today. Well, there's a drum major flying the ship now. Captain, we've got the engines working. Now if we can just get away from that star. Uh, just let me have my coffee first, okay? I'm not good without it. <laughs> this is the song this about the crew's condition. Just a few more seconds and they we'll all be feel safe. like they're gone off right you. With you to have your prisoner he tried to kill me with the forklift. <laughs> I, I, I. No, oh, this is gonna be great. Speakers on the porch. Oh, wow. yeah. That ought to get the cooling system going. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. one more connection. Okay. Yeah. Good. Looks good. Tastes good. Colonel, is good. Got good for the me. Cooling system good for fixed. you. Can you get her on course? He's huge. It's no yeah. use. We're too late now. Did the value hurt? We've got to go on. Try again. I can't make it. Isn't it hot? Colonel, can you hear me? Colonel. Oh, it's very hot. Hot in here. It's very hot, hot, hot in here. It's hot. It's, it's very... Oh no. We're getting closer to that star. Looks like I'd better take over. Fine, but towel off first or something. Ooh. Not a kid anymore. They're having the film steam cleaned right now and they need it. Uh, Captain! I've got it fixed. It's all working again. Great, just in time to see us Cal. die. I've got it working. 
Get going. Oh, wait, whose turn is it to pass out? I I'm think the wondering. audience is ready to pass mm. out about now. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> what is he starting the wild mouse died? <laughs> Ignition! Yes. We're gonna make it! Colonel, faster! Full thrust! You want to go faster? Ah, yeah. Full thrust? No, no, not you, the engines! <laughs> Kid power, red, yellow, black, black white, we did it. unite! We, we did, did it. it, we did it, we killed 20 minutes of movie! Woo! Look at that. I'll take the controls. I guess you don't need old Captain Joe anymore. Hmm. Graduates, today you begin the journey of the rest of your life. We may never pass this way again and... Uh, uh, I'm missing graduation. Music started, oh no. Oh, looks like the ten perature is coming down. <laughs> See, I'm not even stinky. <laughs> Thank you. Ken, get out of my seat. Colonel Urulin, <laughs> you know, both did a terrific job. I won't forget it. <laughs> this old crate pulled us through one more time. <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> both of you. Thanks again, Bacchus Three. Bacchus, good <laughs> job. <laughs> now you've done it again. <laughs> Mighty Jack. Yeah. Mighty Jack? I'm quite a guy, really. You know? So? Hey, Dan. Come on. We're going Rise fishing. I promise. How you doing? Still a little gross. Is everybody all right? Not too bad. Mm -hmm. I feel great. Ready for a workout. Yeah, you've got <laughs> spunk. I hate spunk. What is it? This is your morning call, sir. We'll be expecting you all downstairs in an hour for some tennis. Oh, is this oh. the morning zoo, guys? Okay, I'll go string my racket. <laughs> Say, what happened to room service? Tennis. Sorry, sir. I'm afraid our guests have to cook their own breakfast. <laughs> Enough of their good-natured <laughs> ribbing. Bye. You bet. <laughs> I love it. Please hold your present position for the moment. We'll be giving you your landing instructions shortly. Shortly? Hmm. What's the delay? They may have to clear a landing space for us. Hmm. That's all. Message received. We're holding our position and waiting to hear from you. All our best to Joan and the kids. So, looks like they'll just uh, park there then. Oh. Park in the street. It'll be okay. I think I could speed things up if I had a word with them. Oh, Mr. Connections. Oh, Mr. Sarcasm. Colonel Yerulin calling Cesar headquarters. You ruling? Yep, we're number one. The Space Ooh. Command was kind enough to rescue me from a Kararu prison. I can vouch for every one of the crew. We'd like to land on Cesar right away. Bite me? Is that official? Say, what's the matter down there? I'm used to having my official request dealt with immediately. Oh, do you? Did you hear that? We read you loud and clear. We just don't like we you. We have no Colonel Yerulin listed on our officer's roster. Don't talk nonsense. Check that roster again. I've been a senior officer in the Cesar Command for the last 20 years. Mm. Captain, I think there's some sort of a mistake. Starting with the script. Colonel Yerulin, it sounds like you're pretending to be someone you aren't. Nobody asked you. This insubordination is unheard of. Three weeks detention for Ken. Well, you did reveal a few vital military secrets to the Karans, didn't you? Wait a second. You're saying I gave away vital information? Vital? Yeah. How did you find out about that? <laughs> By getting drunk? Anyway, now it seems we're all involved in this situation together. Yep. This is no trade mission. You're after that secret weapon, aren't you? Colonel, you're ruling. Your mouthwash just ain't making if it. If we are after it, then I think you're the least likely individual to lead us to it. They don't even know you down there. It's ridiculous. Bunch of idiots. Ship of fools. What the heck is going on? <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, it's starting over. Oh, oh boy. I'm going to bust it again. Really Let me tell you. To is she really going out with him? That hmm. was just a warning. Ken, keep it cool. You're wrong. Those guys aren't kidding. I can't believe it. My own people would never dare shoot at me. Looks like they have. Engines full blast. Oh, you know, I just love the whole incoherent Mighty Jack quality of this film. Mm -hmm. 
you repeat that, please? Okay. Two of us. I wet him. This week, join Johnny, Haji, Grace Bannon, and Bandit. <laughs> Johnny Quest. We're surrounded. They'll attack again any minute. Don't let insects spoil your garden party. Captain. He is Adora? No. Oh, no. They're being attacked by Naralka Razors! Even the name says Merry Christmas. Uh, uh, uh. I'm going to get them. It's okay. too dark to go out on your bike. Keep it here. Don't fire back. Try to make contact. Tell them it's a mistake. What are you, Captain Kirk, all of a sudden? <laughs> mistake. This is for real. Get ready to counterattack. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Magic booze bottle, take me away. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> I got it! <laughs> oh, is killing fun, Ken? Does it amuse you? Let's all watch Ken as he tries to kill the bad guys. He'll taste their steel, then they'll drink their own blood. They'll try to kill him with a forklift. I'm making this up as I Faster, go. pussy Ken, kill, kill. Like you've never goed before. I'll show him. I'll yeah. run away. Then they'll be sorry they picked on me. <laughs> Why is Ken behaving like this? Because it's bitter and because it's his heart. Bang, bang. Killing is fun. Oh, and he picks up the spare. Yeah. So, let's review the plot so far. They went into outer space and, uh, let's see, uh, oh, wait a minute, it's, uh, yeah. they went into space and it's on the tip of yeah. my tongue. Oh, oh, I know, I know, they, uh, suffocated for a while yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and, then, and then came lots uh, of ex explosions. Yeah, bang, and zoom, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that's it. That's <laughs> I really enjoyed that. They're Don't get sick, too enthusiastic. Buddy. Now that they know where we are, they're gonna send out the next wave. Well, you know the old saying, an eye for an eye. <laughs> Breakfast <laughs> and tennis. <laughs> oh. Here they come again. Ooh, ooh, catch them if you can. Ooh. There's no way out of this, sir. Sooner or later, one of them is gonna score a hit. Off the bomb. Colonel, you're ooh. Ruling. Can you guide us to a safe place to make an emergency landing? Well, uh, my uncle's got a planet. Let's crash there. Look, if you <laughs> want to stay alive, you're gonna have to help us. Where can we land? Well. I do know of a place. All right. Tell us where it is. Everyone calls it the Devil's Desert. It sounds pretty neat. If you're really willing to take the risk, I'll be glad to guide you. OK. Let's go. We're going to Vegas, everybody. <laughs> Looks like the big blue marble. It is. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see here. There's Satan's Triangle, Lucifer's Elbow. Uh, oh, there, Dev Devil's Devil. Flying over teenage skin eruption, sir. Ooh. <laughs> huh? huh? We're landing there. You got a problem with that? <laughs> nice effect, though. Hold on tight. This is going to be a rough one. We'd better learn to get along. <laughs> careful, careful! These sands are treacherous! They're headed straight for the uh, dock! Uh, uh. You know, this uh, film looks like it's scraping bottom. Yeah, yeah. Well, shall I let her down? <laughs> ah, note to myself put landing gear on this baby. Desert planets. Damn, just wash this thing. Looks like one of my old ski club overnights. Ooh. You know? Ooh. Alpine Valley. Yep. A planet that evolved from Carob? I don't think so. In the God of Davida, baby. Oh, oh. Tammy. 
Tammy. Tell me true. A girl, a grim old warrior, supposed you to be brave. Right. Yes. Get up. Sir. Full up practice. Uh, what? Rocky. What? Who turned off the TV Rocky. set? Bloody Mary's all around. Uh, come on, put yourself together. Uh, you telling him to pull yourself together? Ken, better check the others. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, aye aye, Captain. Dan, uh, snap out of it. Uh, Billy, don't be a hero. Colonel, you're ruined. Uh, drive through clowns? I want a sunrise biscuit. Come on in there. Uh, will you look at that? It's so hot in here, it feels like a steam bath. And me without a towel. Rocky, better get the area on the screen. Okay. Oh, wow. They gotta watch their own Captain. reruns? What a nightmare. I wonder how much damage we've got. I don't know. I want every inch of this craft checked out. Yes, every sir. inch. Even the inch under your seat? Every, every inch. Get to inch. it. Even the dirtiest huh. inch in the kitchen? Every single inch. Even that inch? Well, that well at least we're yeah. on the ground Seems again. Like there's an inch over there that they All right, I better go help the others. New from the Star Force line of action figures, it's Captain Joe, the boozy, brawling, bloated Bacchus III commander from the beloved Fugitive Alien series. Dizzy Gillespie, cheek, soul, Tepperly. Yes, he swaggers, he staggers, and he even talks. Um, the fellow would do a lot worse than throwing with a lot of Bacchus III. Set him up, barkeep. Flask and travel bar, not included. Yes, with your Captain Joe action figure, you'll be in a constant state of excitement while he's in a state of denial. Uh, I only drink on the weekend. I can drink. Existential void, we're prohibited. Sure, he's got a problem, but you don't have to watch him deteriorate. After all, you spent $9.95 for him. Tax and license not included. You can have hours of fun as you organize a crisis intervention for Captain Joe. Captain Joe, I am not going to sit here and watch you deteriorate. Captain Joe, when I, Ken and I had you over to eat, you got drunk on cooking sherry and made a pass at me and threw up all over the Malibu dream house. Captain Joe, dude, I loved you, but I'm not going to sit here and watch you cowabungle your life. And don't forget, kids, if Captain Joe refuses to deal with the issues, you can always try, try to, to kill, kill him with a forklift. 12 step, workbook optional, product not included in some boxes. Joe Namath, netted slingshot brief, sold separately. Yeah, oh, Let's go. Hey. Wait. Hey, where are you going? Rocky? I'm sorry. Thanks. You and Tammy are staying here. What for? As soon as we've left, I want you to bring Bacchus three to a safer place. Sir, do you think you're doing the right thing? What do you mean? I was told when the mission is dangerous, uh, it's the older men who are the ones to stay behind. Rocky, that's an order. Impressive eye contact. Ooh. Sir, that's crazy. You can't go on a forced march through this desert at your age. Let me go. I'll command my own mission. You, Hold my do as you're told. I'll never shirk my responsibilities. Not never. even when my hip cracks. Rocky, have you again? got out of your mind? This is one order I can't <laughs> obey. You'll disobey it over my dead body. Okay. Rocky, don't. Shoot me if you've got the guts. My orders still stand. Squeeze. <laughs> hey, you did it. <gasps> Captain! Oh, Captain, my Captain! I'll kill you for that! Don't get excited. I wouldn't shoot my chief with live ammunition. It's a knockout dart. Of course, it pierced his It'll colon. It'll just put him out of commission for an hour or so. Help me get him to someplace comfortable. Ken, grab his legs. Now then, we've got a mission to accomplish. That was gonna be the first time he's passed out cold and he's gonna wake up sober. <laughs> Peekaboo! It's Abbott and Costello in Turning Japanese. Do -do 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 all right, let's go. And man was born of woman, and they both inhabited the earth. Tammy, I want you to contact us as soon as you've moved back as three to a safer place. Call us on our micro radios. Right. We'll try to maintain contact from our end. And don't forget, keep us in radar range. You can count on it. <laughs> oh, care, and uh, you better lock up the liquor cabinet and hide the key. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're headed for adventure. We'll leave Tammy behind. We're gonna pat up the film some more. And you'll fall 
asleep, three, four. We're climbing the sandy hill like you That's good. really care. That's funny. Sorry. Faster! Yes, sir. There's spiders all over me. Get them off me. Get them off me. <laughs> You know, it's the funniest sensation. The room's not spinning. Hmm. I'll kill that Rocky. Again? Get him. I took the liberty of changing your jumpsuit, Captain. sir. Are they in radar range? Yes, sir. They're right here on the screen. 22 degrees east-northeast. I'm not in right now, but if you'd like to leave a message with my shoulder... Rocky. Again? Stop. Rocky, I'll read you the Stop it. We're advancing on our objective. That was a dirty trick you played on me. <clears throat> Why don't you court martial me over a cold beer when this mission is over? And a shot? All right. I want you guys to be careful. It's a very tricky operation. Yes, sir. And you, get a good rest. One of these days, you'll thank me for what I did. Shoulder phone off. Rocky. Again. Sorry. Pong? They're rocky. Okay. I'll bust you. them when this is over. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about something else, sir. <laughs> We're marching on a big sand hill. We realize you've had your fill as we march up on this big sand Stop. hill. Stop it. Hey, corn. Hey, corn. Get down. There's a watchtower. Oh, but I kid the Jehovah's Witnesses, ladies and gentlemen. I love them. <laughs> Hey, check it out. They're fighting ZZ Top. Oh. Hey, Dave. Oh, hi, Evan. I think they swiped this music from Mission Impossible. Get in as close as you can. I'll try to divert the guards. And watch out for the percussionists. They might have tambourines. Let go of my leg. What's the matter? Don't you trust me? What guarantee do we have that you won't double cross oh, us? Oh, I'll leave you my keys. Look, if you attack that post head on, those machine guns will mow you down in a matter of seconds. Hey, Mo! Oh. You know the way I feel. I've got a score to settle with this country. And a song in his heart. My loyalties lie. He's true to his school. Okay. Shaving I'll still keep you covered. Shh. Now. <laughs> Walk the way I walk. I'll hunker down like that. Plan B, Merce Cunningham. Guten Tag, aus ist Schlepschel. Hey, it's high definition TV. Indeed. Go Duce? Oh, hey, you got a little toilet paper in your shoe there. <laughs> I keep it. Now, on with it. He did sell us out. Uh, sir, it's the Peter Frampton alarm. It only goes off in the 70s. It. A rat always returns to his hole. This is Operation Desert Boar. Oh, <laughs> Sounds like the teacher from the Peanuts TV specials. He's going to shoot us himself. Well, I'm flattered. Gallipoli. Neat. Cross of iron in color. George, Paul, John, Pete Best. You like it's my fort? Made everybody. it out of refrigerator boxes. Oh, no. mm. yeah, now it looks like Lawrence of Arabia, except for the pink shiny pleather suits. <laughs> oh, come on, girls. <laughs> <laughs> We're filled with mirth. <laughs> mirth <laughs> <running now. laughs> Show me. Where have all the dead guys gone? Oh. Looks like I had you worried for a while. Oh. You think anything's wrong? It seems all right so far, sir. Good. Hey, that uh, Westinghouse symbol kind of got wrecked in the crash. <laughs> Demi? Yes, sir. We've got to get this ship out of here before the next sandstorm. That clear?
<laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Hmm. Now, here's the liquor store, and there's Tom Thumb. Now, you take two lefts, and you're there. This no is problem. it. The Red Star is a security zone. We are still 35 miles to Weathership Tango Delta. Okay, now it's our turn to move. Let's go. Hi, Kiba, Captain. Do -do 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 -do. Now strap in tight, let's get set for action To launch the ship out of the sand He tried to kill me with a fork with <laughs> While Captain Joe moves the spacecraft closer to the secret installation, the crew of Bacchus III, disguised as Cesar soldiers, advances cautiously. Me, I'm Carl, the narrator. I used to work with Ken. I do these voiceovers to finance what I really want to do. And what's that, Carl? Decoupage. <laughs> Thank you. What are they doing at the Joshua Tree National Forest? You got me. Oh, now this is the nice side of the Devil's oh, Desert. Oh, of course. Have they got the super weapons stored in this depot? No, but they've got Mr. Freezy's. It. it must be here. Sure, it doesn't look like a high security installation. Yeah, it looks like nothing. Yes, yeah. most of it's underground. Yeah, they even got a bowling alley in the basement. It's just like the White House. It's really cool. Yeah, it's a nature out. Oh, how charming. Stop here. Wait, there's your punch. Damn, zither balls everywhere. Oh, the no. Okay. Don't go near that. Looks like we're in the giraffe lot here. Hmm. He's making something. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Hi, Kiba. Well, good thing we're not branches. Just as I thought. They've got the whole installation surrounded by a lethal ray. Martha ray. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's all we need. This super weapon must be an incredibly powerful device. If they need this elaborate a system to protect it. No, Ken. Don't try it. Yeah, nice kanky you're working on If you get anywhere near that team, it'll vaporize you in seconds. Don't even have to... No, yeah. That's Lou! Oh. 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 The mockery flop! Dude. It discovered Flubber! Oh. 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 Yeah. Okay, Billy, you're next. Let's go. What about my rifle? What? There you are. There's your rifle! Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 That red spot hasn't moved an inch. But it's healing nicely. I hope they're all right. <laughs> They'll be fine. They know if they blow this one, I'm going to kick them right out of the service. Mm. You remind me of my father. Oh, <laughs> let's keep our mind on our <clears throat> work, shall we? Oh, it's fun, my <laughs> Having a Star Wolf along has its advantages. Rocky, let's go. I'm with you. And without you. It's <laughs> Andy Oh, hey, musical. All boring on the western front. <laughs> Rocky, come over here. I can. No, he didn't. Did come way over here. Look, check that out with your field glasses. Say, not bad. So it is underground. Rocky. There's a Rocky. world going on underground. It's us. Hey, wait a minute. Did we just do another hop thing? Hey, it's it's us again. Are we are unstuck in time or something? It won't be easy getting into this place. How will we do it? Easy. Wait, wait a minute. Those ID tags. If we can get our hands on them. We can waltz right through. Why not take the whole uniform? and rumble right in. I'm Chet. Welcome to Arby's Training School. Again, I'm Chet, if you need anything. I'll write it down. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? They're nude! <laughs> Good luck. Artie Johnson, I thought so. <laughs> Jack Sue. Hey. Boots are made from walking. Lay down a boogie and play the boogie music till you die. <laughs> Jack Oakey? Oh, that was easy. 
Again, I'm checked. I haven't seen those guys here before. Nice looking guys, yeah. though. You know how it is, they're always sending in reinforcements. We are 22 minutes to weathership Tango Delta. Captain! I saw it! They made it inside. I knew they would. Uh -oh. He got the call, man. I got the shaft. <laughs> it's Bruce Lee. And Bruce Lee in a collision course with wackiness. <laughs> Crotch cam. I'm huge. <laughs> Hey, do you guys have a hall pass? I Come on. Hi, so. right, Kiva. Get that suit pressed and trim the hair on your nose. That's all. Huh? Zip uh. lamps everywhere. Huzzah. <laughs> nice boys. Over here, a little further behind this rock. Yeah. Mm. For the walking sequence, special director Roger Corman. You quit panting. So shut up. Nothing, nothing, act natural, hi. Garrison's gorillas in color. Cesar Romero! Did somebody say a Cesar Romero? <laughs> okay, let's do it now. What, here? Oh, here? Why not? Oh. Now! It's mom's old vaudeville stuff! What do you know? Wait a minute. It's the lobby at Caesar's Palace! I thought so. Cool. Are they blue or not? The plastic thing! Ooh. I can smash this alone. Is that all there is to it? Quiet, just wait. Your superhuman strength may not be enough against a machine like that. We've got to do this slowly and carefully. So you can thoroughly bore the viewers. Mm -hmm. Neat. Well, guys, I'm having a hard time telling how big this is. Can we have something on the screen to uh, figure out the scale here? Attention, attention. Mm -hmm. This is Field Marshal Talza, your Commander-in-Chief. And Grand Puba. I am proud to announce that a new age has begun for the people of Caesar. Oh, that explains the crystal. From this moment on, mm -hmm. with our superior no, weapons and military all. strength, we can meet any challenge. Not even the supposedly invincible Wolf Raiders from Valnestar can threaten us anymore. From now on, we shall be able to oh, crush their Sorry, ladies. And destroy their very planet. Lunch today is chicken fried steak and whipped potatoes. Are ready to dominate the world. Sir. We've achieved the final breakthrough. We're getting ready to... No speeches, soldier. Get back to your Please post. Please excuse me, sir. Ooh. I promise to pay more attention to my duties. What a dope hit him. Come on. Halt! Nobody's allowed past this point. You must be a new recruit. No, yes, sir, sir. A blue recruit. Go on in. Yes, sir. Right away. Out of the way. Sir, I was ordered not to let anyone pass this These point. These men are all right. They're really good guys, especially that chopper. He's a <laughs> nut. All done in there. It's a super Tom servo with thrush busters and glass packs. Wow. Tunnel rim. Four barrel. Chopped and channeled. Cool. Look at that. Like a beating heart. Like a beating heart liberal. <laughs> Ken, you plant the time bomb. Okay. Wait, they're going to destroy it with refrigerator magnets? Yes, my detachment was on maneuvers in the northernmost part of the country. Yeah, it was blast. I don't remember really seeing fun. you here before we left. You're a sleek young no, fellow. Thin. It's trim. an honor to serve here. Yes, sir. I know that, sir. We had a competition in our unit. I was the bluest. I was the winner. That's why I was selected for guard duty at this installation. Ah, uh, you've created quite a little world for yourself, I see. <laughs> Hide the bomb. It's your ruling with that kid. Open the door. I haven't got all day. Well, I do, but I don't want to give it all up for this, is what I mean. Everything all right? 
Yes, sir. Everything's just fine. Good. Let's go. Bye. Thanks for the checkup. So cool. Thanks. You're a fine soldier. The next time I see your commander, I'll tell him you're doing a good job. Oh, thank you, Colonel. Let's do lunch. Good you're lunch. it. I could talk to that guy till I'm blue in the face. Thanks for keeping him distracted. The time bombs are ready to go off. Oh, he's a swell kid. Hate to see him die. They're playing my song. Kirkulus Ding number 15, Eine Kleine Nachtmusik. Masterpiece Theater is brought to you by a grant from the Mobile Corporation. You can't just stand there, sir. Watch me. We've got to get out of here. This is our Cesar anthem. So what? Every day at this hour, we all stand at attention and renew our loyalty to the homeland. That's great. While the others are standing at attention, we'll get out. Yeah, that's great. You stand at attention and I'll pick you up and carry you. Come on. <laughs> hey, are those uh, Blaupunk speakers? They sound great. And the home of our <laughs> Hey, buddy. What's wrong? Colonel! Colonel. Exnay on What's the edge on? play. It's that music. It has an effect on him. When he hears it, he snaps to attention. The guy's crazy. We've got no time for patriotism now. That bomb is about to go off. Colonel, we gotta get out of here. Come on down, sir. There's no time to lose. Huh? My country needs me! Colonel. You know, his country would win more wars if its get national up. anthem was shorter. Yeah. What happened to you? Somebody finger painted me! Splat. Get off my chest. Red alert. Red alert. Message received. Nobody gets in here. Without a tuxedo and a note from Mr. Gotti. Wait, sir. You can't go in there. Out of my way. Infidel. Stay where you are. One more step and I'll shoot. Should we take a step? What is he, a Chicago cop, that guy? Oh, look, he's doing Joe Cocker. What would you think? Harvey's lost one good worker. He was the best damn fry cook they had. Adios, sweet friend. Space Camp with Kate Capshaw. We are unable to reach the primary target, sir. We will go to alternate target at Laputa. It's 15 minutes. We're not famous anymore. Kenny, the others aren't out. There's something wrong, sir. I have confidence in them. They're all professionals. Yeah, I'll be inside a bottle if you need me. I hate patronizing answers. Ooh. Our prisoners are baked, not fried. Dad! Dad! Billy! Do not attempt to adjust your TV. Don't wait for me. Go on ahead. Ooh, wait. Get the wrong guy. Billy, save yourself. There they are. Laser there. Wall by Peter Max. Mm -hmm. Billy, don't try to fight them off. Run for it. I'll come back for you, Dad. <laughs> yeah, right. You'll never see him again. Hey, this is great. It looks like a canceled stamp. <laughs> well, time for a drink. Yep. It's getting later and later. Tammy, I think we'd better take off. Ready? Yes, Captain. Right. Flying high now. You're into what? What? Dan was trapped. Yes, I tried to help him, but... He already chewed half his leg off. Mm. I heard what he said. I can rescue Dan. Can you get him out before the I bomb goes off? I can try. We've got to be sure. We'll never save Dan by talking about it. I never say well, we then could. let's sing about it. <laughs> Billy, you stop worrying. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for cheering wait, me out. Wait. You're a pip. You guys better get out of here quick. Nothing doing. <laughs> I'm going with you. No, <laughs> you're not. You get back to the ship. I want to help you rescue Dan. I want to know what love is. You're injured, Lake. You'd only be in my way. This is great. Do we have to see this? Come on. Sounds like he's getting a tattoo with a busy buzz buzz or something. Oh, Victor Kaya, why did you have to buy the company? The nature of your mission here. 
<laughs> Shaves like a blade. Oh, your money back. I'm going to have to drill again. You were collecting information on our secret weapon. You're a spy, aren't you? Huh? Now, Rince, please. Is it safe? Who sent you here? If you don't look good, we don't look good. I see. You're not enjoying this. Now, I think you'd better answer us. Otherwise, things will get even worse. <laughs> Just a little off the top. Talk. Talk. Talk, talk. By Talk, talk. From the album, Talk, talk. Well, it could get rich flying a crap duster if you live long enough. <laughs> Man, should I be driving? I mean, uh, I've already got two DWIs. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> interpretive death. Flip shot to a somersault. Pretty routine. I've seen that before. Hey, it's a three-legged race. Bye. Huh? Oh, Snaggletooth. Captain, they're back on the screen. That's great. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't I tell you that they were professionals? Yes, sir. Professional uh, what? Uh, Is that dubbed? That sounds like it might uh, be dubbed. Pretty much. It's Thank dubbed. You. Hey, time's running out. Hurry. There's only seven minutes left. I know that, you idiot. Dan's still in there. And he's got the keys to your van, and his dad was going to buy us a keg. Here, you want a sandwich? I got chicken salad and some peanut Sorry, butter and jelly. I didn't mean to yell at you. Rocky, it's all my fault. I should never have abandoned him. It's no one's fault. And if anyone can save him, it's Ken. You did the right thing in getting help. Yeah, it's Ken's fault. Yeah. Now pull yourself together. Look at that. Over there. Odd. It's that plane's dust and crap, so there ain't no time. crap. This is your last chance, Earthling. Now, who sent you here and why? Now remember, the first blade pulls the whisker out, capiche? Weapon. What? Now we're getting somewhere. Who sent you? Oil can? Did he say mm -hmm. oil can? Mm -hmm. Increase the voltage. How much do you think you can take? He's an electroholic. Ohm is too many and a trillion isn't enough. <laughs> Ohm is the loneliest number, you know. <laughs> Got to locate that bomb. Yes, sir. Come on, man. Yes, sir. Oh, no, you don't. Huh? Huh? Van Damme and Van Damme in Van Damme You All to Hell. <laughs> oh, dog, Van Damme. Wow, this is great. The uh, director chooses close ups for the action sequences. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, great. They're still parking. Boy. No. Hard to find a spot. They communicate by gasping. Hey, look, Edelweiss. Pretty. Rocky, hurry. Again. Where's Ken and Dan? That's a good question. Let's talk about it on the way home. In five minutes, that bomb goes off. And they're still in there. We have to leave. Why are they still in there? What's happened to Ken? Uh, oh, he's into Barbie. It's sad, be really. Take off in 20 seconds. But you're skirting the whole kid issue. Every time I really like a guy. <laughs> you know, I love my work. I never think I've got to go to work. I just love it. I can't. Hey. Hi, Kiba. Nice dismount, Jim Kata. Jim Cutter. Hey. That's fun. Hey. Good one. Shit. What is, yeah, what is let's Ken? Go. Easy, that's it. Easy does it. I'm serious about mufflers. <laughs> Three minutes till the explosion. I can still get in a quick one. Yeah, we gotta get in a quick one too, guys. Ooh. Please wait, sir. Ken and Dan can't be that far away. 
Ken! Ken made it! All right, I'm feeling really good. This is the song starting off our medley. Our favorite fugitive alien song. Don't try to kill us with the forklift. It won't take very long. Relax and sing along. Thank you. Thank you. You know, Tommy, a movie like Fugitive Alien can make you cry, and it can make you cry. I agree. Yes. But the thing I treasure most, and I'm speaking from the heart here, this mm -hmm. is totally off script. Mm -hmm. Is the music. Oh, this is so true, Mon Crow. Songs of love and adventure, and if I may, whimsy, no? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know, my favorite was the heartrending ballad in which the wistful Tammy pledges her love to Ken. It goes a little something like this. <clears throat> Three, four. I love Ken, he is my sweet friend, and I love him. I love him. Ken, he is my sweet friend, and I love him. I'm so him. blue, cause I don't think Ken loves me. I'm so blue, cause I don't think Ken loves me. I'm all messed up inside, I might have to off I'm him. I'm all messed up inside, I might have to off him. I'll frame him. Rocky and get away scot free. I'll frame Rocky and get away scot free. I love Ken, he is my sweet friend, and I Fera love him. Shaka, Fera, Shaka, I'm so blue, cause I don't think Ken loves me. I'm all messed up inside, I might have to I saw off three ships him. come sailing in on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. I I'll saw three frame ships come Rocky sailing in and on get Christmas Day. Away, Scott, free. I love Ken. I love Ken. All right, this Whoa. band is marvelous, oh, aren't they, ladies Whoa. and gentlemen? Cambod yeah. Brown and his band Renown. Oh, Give yeah. it up All for them. Right. Yeah. Smoke it. Yeah. Two, three. It's got a real cool feel. Huh. Yeah. Oh. Flying high with a star wolf. Huh. Ha! Yeah. Uh, we're firing up the ship. Huh. Yeah. Uh, and we're hitting the town. Okay. Okay. With Groovy Ken and Tammy. Yeah. Huh. Swinging Rocky and Joe. Huh. Yeah. Wild man. And those two other guys who we don't really know. Forget them. Lay down the boogie and head for the stars, man. Thanks, Joe! Oh, that account. was fun! But if I could get a little serious for a moment, well, I was wondering where we'd be without our boys and girls in shiny red pleather. It makes me proud to know that they're out there, somewhere. Look and you see, flying so fancy free, fighting for you and me, Captain Joe in the game. When they pass by, feel that I'm going goodbye, tap them in the neck with them. That's oh, really Tempo. good, Chipsy. Do you want to do one with me? Huh? Do you want to do one with me? Let's all do it. Okay. We are gonna find Sandy Frank. We just wanna ask him why. We wanna stick it to Sandy Frank and sit on his chest and gob on his face and make him cry. Yeah. Let's Woo. all take it off. So good it shows! Yeah. Yeah. Two, three, and, and that's our song. We, we hope, hope that you enjoy it. it. And if you thought that it was stupid and try, come on and kill us with a forklift. All we wanna do with love from us to you is sing the best we can. No, no, you are Mr. Show Business. Oh, Look, it was you a are supposed to smoke in. Absolutely. Catchy. Ooh. Oh, no! Hey! A big mega servo just went up there. No. Doggone it. Oh, they. they blewed it up before we found out what it was! Blued? Blewed it up. Now, you see, this is why we don't let teenagers into hotels anymore. This kind of stuff. Definitely new kids. Look, look, huh? sir. All right. 
Oh. A terrific, super, really super. Here goes. All right. Ah, cherry bar, cherry. I haven't won all day. Never found out how big that thing was, really. No, no. <laughs> no relative scale. Wait, wait, what was the plot here? They blew that up, too. <laughs> it's Farvanugan gone horribly wrong. I'll say. I know what this reminds me of. Thunderbirds are go! Yeah. <laughs> Remember? Mm -hmm. yeah, that looks familiar. Hey, do they have another Herb Albert tape? I'm really getting sick of this. Eight track recycled again. You know that really does look good though. That looks That's neat. Pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. Did Kissinger order this? I think it was Schwartzkopf. Oh. So there's stuff blowing up then. Pretty much. Yep. It's pretty neat. Yep. yep. Blowing it up. Yep. Yep. Or doodle do. Had some money to blow here. Oh yeah. This is pretty cool. It does look good, though. Oh, very really good. Orgy of destruction. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Only meant to blow up that one thing. Sorry. It's a bridge on the River Kwai over there. Blow up the bridge. Yep. And oh. they still haven't hit that. Here, here it goes. Whoa. Uh -oh. Next on MacGyver. <laughs> Can't begin to tell you how proud I am of you guys. Because I'm the greatest drunk. crew a captain yeah. ever had. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Ken. Hmm? Pull my finger, then do that funny face you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fun. Pull my finger too. I love it when they do that. See, it's all working out. I wish your mother were here to see this. Hmm. So, yeah. Rangers, Gene I'm Simmons. delighted to report good news. A research center on Earth has just developed a bomb that can destroy a whole planet. And you guys can't cut a simple steak and shrimp combo. We'll gain control of that bomb, and then Balna will dominate the universe. Yes, Master. The University of Wisconsin-Madison, a tradition of excellence for over 200 years. I've been waiting years. for you, Captain. Five neat guys. That's Hey, you're at the Reynolds aluminum the plant. It's too dangerous. I'm sorry my father was detained. He what? wanted to welcome oh. you. Mother! Hmm? What? What's up, Ken? Who is that? Looked like my mother. Why'd she run away? Because she hated kids, maybe? Mother! Ooh. Hey, not so fast, Ken! Take it easy. You know you haven't seen her in several years. Sounds like they're yes. playing the Godfather they said that she theme. died, mm -hmm. But no one ever really proved it. That's why I... Ken, snap out of it. Come on, this is your mother now. Try her out. We've been assigned to escort this young lady. I beg your pardon. Hi, That's Kiba. all right. The problem is my father. Sure. Ever since he developed that bomb, all sorts of people have been threatening me. Look, sir. Uh -huh. Uh -oh. We're being attacked by models from members only. Take hey, cover! Oh no, it's the Dave Clark Five, and they're being attacked by Dino, Desi, and Billy. It's like one of those obsession ads. If this is love, then find me guilty. Pretentious doll. Hey, it's the guys from Delta Epsilon. Against the guys mm. from Sigma Phi. This kind of stuff always happens on campus. Yeah. Those soldiers move faster than I expected. Yeah. The important Guido Sarducci? The manufacturer of my invention. Sugar in this gum? Preserved on this microfilm. So it doesn't stick to dental work, eh? You mean this little film mm -hmm. contains information on a bomb powerful enough to blow up the entire universe? No matter what happens to me, Captain, this microfilm must not fall into the wrong hands. Why are they meeting in the my shower? Ask me not to make this invention public. By the way, you're sitting on the urinal. Oh, Tammy's got a Weber. There she is again. <laughs> Mother, 
Why does she always run away? And why is she younger than me? Uh-oh. Oh, man. Now he's outside. I'd say this part of the movie needs a strict rewrite. It's, it's like... a little weird. Hey, Mom! Where'd you get the meadow? We're the catering squad. Hi, Kiba. Greetings from our headquarters. We have orders to bring you there. <laughs> Captain sporting a bike rack there. <laughs> Tell your headquarters they can forget their orders. Captain! <laughs> Ash Wednesday, Cesar style. Filmed in convolution vision. <laughs> also. What in the Sam Scratch is going on? This is an entirely different movie we're watching here. It was Hulk. Who? Fred Blitnikoff. Hey, this side shoots to the left. What are we excited? Ken. Where the hell did you come from? All three of them were to be taken back to Valna. Get me a spoon. Halkin was going to hold them as hostages. Just a minute. This lady can tell you the rest. The rest of the story. Halkin Page made two. me do it. He wanted me to infiltrate your operation posing as Ken's mother. Then he was going to kill her. Like I'd better pay Halkin a visit. <laughs> Ken. You're not going to Valna. Dressed like That's that. That's crazy. He's right, Ken. What other choice do I have? You could get a smaller New belt buckle. take on Halkin. No way. Jose. It's gotta be me. It's just gotta Space be Command me. No responsibility. You'd be acting on your own, Ken. All we can do is wish you good luck. Maybe pack you a few sandwiches, but that's it. That'd be nice. He must be destroyed by a Star Wolf. You'll always be a Star Wolf. Never a star. <laughs> is that so awful? If I'm able to use my strength for a good cause... I'm just doing what Jerry does Goodbye, for those Captain. kids. Don't be a fool. Don't be a fool with your life, Billy. Nobody admires you more than I do. But you're no match for Halkin. Don't be so sure. Halkin trained me for every sort of combat. And he taught me well. One thing that Halkin didn't teach you was to fight as dirty as he does. <laughs> which is the reason why... we better take some Earthlings along. Because <laughs> we're basically scum. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I wonder what the king is drinking tonight. <laughs> oh, another Orin Hatch. No, this one's a Richard Hatch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One wretched Star Wolf. Two wretched Star Wolves. I don't see any danger in that. He had a space escort with him. What's become of the others? Well, we're trying to locate them, Master. I want Rockford dead. Every one of them. If they're not dead by nightfall, you'll die. Yes, Ooh, Master. He is cute. Kind of looks like Tammy Faye, mm -hmm. I think. Star Wolf. Looking for me. <laughs> Hello, Star Wolf. Hello, Shoyle. Alkin. I promised I'd return here to settle the score. Uh, I believe it was 15 love, something like that. Ooh. Don't move. <laughs> <laughs> you know you can't bring yourself to kill me. I'm wearing my magic rain cape and ski gloves. After all, Star Wolf, I'm the one who created you. Everything you are and everything you know, you learned from me. Oh, yeah. Well, everything I learned, I learned in kindergarten. The courage to pull that uh -oh. trigger. You're wrong. Everything I learned from you was wrong. Like three the card money. Everything you ever taught me was evil. 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 Now I've seen another way of life. A life that's honest and decent. I'm gonna become a nun. And I've come back to destroy you and your evil. Ness. Ding. Now die. No, you're the one that's gonna die. No, you're the one who's gonna die. No, it's you. No, you're the one who's gonna. You, who's gonna die? Maybe I am gonna die. Hi, Kiba. Now I want you to sing like Tommy Toon. <laughs> Lord Halkin, Bacchus, Bacchus III is headed straight for our fortress. 
What I'll say. Uh, it kind of looks like Captain Joe's in the bucket, you know? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, he's had a few. It's the opening of Manix. Right. Sorry. Da -da -da -da. That was convenient. That's a good defensive move. Summer's halts. Ah. Oh, classic Mannix disarm. Jackie Chan, he is not. Wait a minute, Star Wolf. Why don't we discuss this? Over a cocktail and some calamari. Put down that sword. What's the good of killing me? We can be allies. My knife! Big mistake. You're dumber than I thought. Die, Star Wolf! Oh, another one. You know, women just shouldn't hang around this guy. Mother. Thanks, Substitute Mom. Um, Ken, listen. I'm not your real mother. But, but an I'm incredible simulation. Jesus. Don't die! Ken! What hey, happened? neat. Where'd you get the girl on a stick? This must be Halkin's work. Yeah, let's notice the fine detail of the craftsmanship. Look! Halkin's getting away. No! Yes! yes. No, he's not! Supercar! Supercar! This is it? This is it! The Night of Nights! No more rehearsing and nursing our parts! Sorry. Uh, this is Bernard Shaw in downtown Bagtown. I'm under a table. I'm writing candy. Oh, no, that was George Bernard Shaw. The bad guy? No, no. So, uh, why do you think they're fighting over Heidelberg? <laughs> He's gotta go bad, that one. Puppet chips to the rescue! Do, 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 do. To try to kill us with a forklift. Woo! Where have I seen this before? Oh, I don't know. Long time ago in a galaxy far, far away? Yeah. That's it. Pretty much. Attack! Oh, he's urging himself on. Self motivation. Now die! You die, Joel! You'll never destroy me, Star You can't destroy me. I quit. Oh, well, this has at least got to slow him down. I mean, please. But a chink in his get along. There goes old Main. The whole campus is gone now. Hmm. A chink in his get along? Are you glad we're heading for Earth? <laughs> yeah. Because they have Dennis uh, there. There's a girl I can hardly wait to see. <laughs> a girl, you switch hitter, you. What's wrong with you, Ken? I would have thought you'd be a little more enthusiastic. Captain. Gang. I've got something to tell you. I want to be a woman. You guys. What? No, 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 no. It was great knowing you. It was? I've got to go back to Velna. Yeah, we hear your theme song. Ken. What do you hope to accomplish there? Well, he signed up for a health Halcon club membership, and he now. should use the rest of it. It was 18 months. The land months. destroyed. Perhaps I can help build a new nation there. A new civilization. So you think you can change the world, do you? That's an impossible job. You'd need 10 lifetimes to complete it. Think it over. Why don't you just stick with us, Ken? After all, you started life as an Earthling. Yeah, I'll get help. Maybe My hire parents some went to staff. As missionaries and died there. I want to finish their work. Well, it's not exactly on our way. It's your but... decision. Boy, his cheeks are huge. Good luck, Ken. Star Wolf. Thanks, I, I think. I'll just shake your hand. But I won't kiss you. I don't like a bite. <laughs> Billy. Don't be a hero, man. It's been great. Thanks. Dan. Uh, or whatever your name is, new guy. I think I would have liked We've you. been through a lot together. Yeah. No, so, brother. Tammy, I'll never forget you. 
And I'll never forget you, um, uh, Ken. Ooh, doll hands. Ah, grow up. Hey, they're gonna land on that bowling ball. Ready now. Take off. Take off, Hoser. Woo! Sweet Prince. Oh, look at that suit. What is he going to be in swing choir or something? <laughs> and we have closure. Yay! Yay! Woo! 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 Fugitive Alien will be back in Fugitive Alien Come Home. Fugitive Alien 3, the next day, the final chapter, 3000. Brewster's Millions, uh, Brian's Song. Oh, no, no, I couldn't oh. handle Brian's Song again, Crow. When I saw that, I was dewy eyed for a week. Oh, it didn't affect me that way at all. Well, you know, I had some other things going on in my life at the hey, time, guys, and I was rather What are you fun. doing? Oh, all we're right. just looking through Leonard Moulton's movie guide, uh, thinking of shooting the Mads a memo, uh, hoping that they'd welcome some input on the experiment selection. Yeah, you know, they don't have to all be as bad as the one we saw today. <laughs> now, maybe all our interests can be served, gang. It can be a win win situation. I don't know about that. Uh, the Mads seem to be pretty territorial about stuff like that. One thing you have to admit at the end of this movie that uh, evil villain they had was uh, actually pretty evil, you know? Oh, you mean the one with the heavy rouge? Yeah, and the face that was dipped in a huge vat of whiteout. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> I know what you mean, Joel. He scared me so much, I almost started watching the movie. Yeah, well, he was kind of like uh, somebody's idea of everything evil all rolled into one, you know? Yeah, you got a point there, Joel. Kind of brought together the terrifying aspects of Nazis and mimes. And Marsha Mason. <laughs> oh, or Marilyn Quayle. Oh, there you go. Well, listen, if you guys wanted to, how would you make your ultimate evil person? Who would it be made up of? Mm, let's see. I'd combine the Wolfman and Mothra and the bad Lee Marvin from Cat Baloo. Oh, Woo yeah, that's great. Uh, I'd take Tom T. Hall, uh, add Roy Clark, and a little Donna Fargo. Oh, the possibilities. <laughs> Richard Nixon, Richard III, and Keith Richards. You know, but according to the Fellowship of the White Boar, Richard III was actually a fine yeah, man you know, and a good I sovereign. I don't even really think of Ke Keith Richards as that evil. Oh, though. but he's so scary. Oh. Richard Basar, Richard Basar, and Richard Basar. Uh, but Gypsy, you uh, you like Richard Basehart. Ooh, that's nice, girl. <laughs> that's really nice. How about uh, Howie Mandel, uh -huh. uh, David Brenner, and Gallagher? Yeah, or Ooh. David Brenner, Andy Rooney, David Brenner, and a ferret. Oh, oh yes. that one stung. Personally, <laughs> I hate Mondays. Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. Anyway, I think we need something kind of uplifting, so Perfect. I brought along these letters here. All right. Uh, this first one, let's put that on still store Cambot. This huh. first one comes from an Eddie Hogan of New Jersey. He writes, hello, my name is Eddie, and I would like to join your information club. As you can tell, I'm not very good at good, I, I do not have very good writing, and I'm already 13. Uh-oh. That's too bad. It's over. Yeah. I hate school, homework, teachers, and cheesy movies. Good, well, that's good attitude, good. Eddie. Good. I'm a big fan, and I think you're all funny, even Gypsy. I watch your show on Saturdays. I would watch them Monday through Friday, but they're on at 10 a.m., and I'm in school falling asleep. Oh. <laughs> well, that's nice. Let's get another yeah. one. That, that was really uplifting, Joel, yeah. I gotta yeah. tell you. This one seems happier. Let's put this one up on Still oh, Story. Eddie, you might want to get into breakfast. Nice drawing. Cool. Uh, uh, anyway, well, this one has Tom Servo saying, what are we, cowboys? I'd like to shoot that intro. And then <laughs> Gypsy's there like saying, me. Richard Basehart, Ram Chips, huh? Yep, that's Ooh. her. And then Crow saying, shut up, I can't take any more. Get on with it already, jeez. Yeah, and then it's got up. me saying, it well, it can also double as a can opener. And then it's got the mad saying, file this, Frank. And then Frank's saying, I will. I will file this. I will file it. That's really a nice rendition of Frank, too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is. That's pretty good. Yeah, those people weren't even at all, were they? You know, I came yeah. up with another one. Coffee, ice cream, paper cuts, and Dan Haggerty! Oh, ah, wow, you're just one. getting weird, and that results in creativity. 
What do you think, sirs? Well, Martin Boober, I hardly think you're qualified to be considering the nature of evil. <laughs> Push the button, Frank. Hey, I like Tom T. Hall. Oh, Frank, think evil. I love baby ducks. Oh, Frank, you're just embarrassing ducks. me now. Baby cookie, 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 baby, baby, no. <laughs> I've got it fixed. It's all working again. <laughs> <laughs>